Hello friends! Hello you beautiful and amazing people! Welcome! Welcome back to a brand new stream! This is number 19 of doing reviews! What's up my man, Unique Bot Story Original Studios? Everyone who's here, welcome back! Hope you're doing alright! Hello and welcome, you fantastic, beautiful, and amazing people! I am excited for yet another amazing stream to take a look at everything home rapid repair question already jumping in whoa message rejected whoa 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 banjo exclamation join i do not have the cloud bot on uh just yet just because we've actually we're repositioning into a new way of doing things and i think we might try to use an like, like a different method of getting everyone's channels in so we might be doing it a little bit more manual tonight um uh, compared to what we've been doing with exclamation join uh, also partially because we're not doing a vertical stream tonight we are doing just horizontal so I don't expect there's to be massive traffic and 10,000 channels to take a look at so I think it's gonna be a really good opportunity for us just to kind of enjoy the opportunity get to know each other but in that same case everyone who does jump in it looks like we'll be able to take a look at everyone's channel that's going to be here tonight hardwired you amazingly beautiful awesome person welcome to chat i hope everyone is doing wonderful tonight i have so many things that i'm looking forward to talking to you about but out of everything i just want to go ahead and say as usual and as per usual home rapid i see your stuff as per usual thank you so much for all the support that you put on my channel everything that you do from commenting on videos becoming a part of the community here and then also growing and also in that same case the patience of me growing and moving into this this ad not ad format but this live streaming format that's different me doing channel reviews we've been doing for a while now but uh, trying to find consistency in a time where I didn't think I was gonna be streaming regularly uh, has been a challenge but what I want to say is thank you so much for all of your support and as usual you guys are awesome with that out of the way how is everyone doing tonight it is a fantastic beautiful Wednesday night how is everyone doing what are people doing how are you how is your channels how is your growth how are things looking for your content I'm excited to hear your story and excited to hear everything that is going on on your channel and the things that you are doing with that being said um with that being said, I am excited to uh, to kind of push into what we're doing tonight. I'm really, I'm really looking forward to and looking at some channels and taking an opportunity to see everything. I'm noticing that our channel uh, is still not streaming in 4K tonight. It looks like we're only streaming in 1440p, is what it looks like, if I'm correct. Correct me if I am wrong youtube.com slash dark and cyrus i'd like to take a look at it and see what it looks like I am, uh it should be in yeah we're streaming 1440p 60 so it probably still looks really good i'm not really miffed about it we'll let it be what it is that being said exclamation join everyone who's jumping in we are not doing exclamation join tonight we're going to be doing it regular just tell me you want to take a look at it i'm gonna add you to a list myself and we'll take a look at it unique bots thank you so much catastrophe welcome to channel hardwired welcome to channel home rapids got a question before we even get into stuff yo sever welcome to chat set up as fire thank you yeah we've got a lot of new stuff that's going on and as you can also tell we're doing some stuff across the bottom here that i'll talk about here in just a minute as well which i think is probably our big push for this coming month um, I currently have chat over on this side over here. I probably in some way should add chat to the screen so you guys can see things as it goes by. I think that would be pretty cool, but um, I don't th I don't think we've had chat on here before, so I'm not I think I'm really gonna drive and, and do that just yet. Anyway, um, we have PC cam and desktops so over here and then we're over here. Cool. All right, so yeah, we have a lot of stuff to talk about, but I want to go ahead and answer this question that first popped in. Guys, we are doing just like normal, so just go ahead and say, hey, I want you to check out my channel, and then I will write your name down, and we'll just kind of do it in order as normal. And uh, those who are um, members will get priority access, as usual, guys. Home Rapid says, what's your thoughts on a channel posting too many shorts and then attracting the wrong audience and not getting clicks on their long-form videos? Home Rapid, I think there's a, there's a big 
issue with when it comes to shorts, I think people are trying to, to think of it as maybe two separate pieces of content rather than considering it as one piece of content. So <laughs> when it comes to your long form videos, right, that your bread and butter, what you're currently growing on, right? Uh, when you're posting that content and you're enjoying it, it people are, are connecting, you're growing, they're commenting, you feel like you're really honing in on your audience. And then you get in this land of, I want to post shorts, right? I think when people start posting shorts, they, they start considering, and we've seen this multiple times on gaming channels, we see this as, this is a great opportunity to get thousands of views really quickly, right? And really just pop off our channel, but we got to be very careful because with the thousands of views, does is the short that we put up going to be the representation of our channel? Exactly what you're trying to say here. So if you're a channel like yours, you're doing, you know, home repairs, you're talking about ways to do things that are better, you know, cheaper ways to do things, tutorials, and then you post a video that's just a funny moment of something that happened, you know, those people might, might not convert to your more laid back content. And in that same case, you also have to think about what your audience is. I think that short form content is kind of viewed by a lot of people now, but your majority of short form people who are watching are your like millennials and Gen Z. That's just the truth. Most people who are millennials and Gen Z are on short form content. And so if your audience is not that, it's probably not best that you're pushing shorts just because you know that might not be what you're trying to, to target, right? So when it comes to posting your shorts, you need to be very intentional. Either make them parts of your long form and then point them to your long form, especially if you want that long form and you've worked a lot and you want that to be your your product, sorry, I'm yawning for some reason. You want that to be your product. But in the same case, if you're wanting more people to find your long form, don't post things that are not connected to your channel in some way. Like uh, there's plenty of gaming people or we've already seen creators who just are reposting other people's content. And while they might like that content and then subscribe to that channel, they're not going to be able to replicate that piece of content. We see this a lot of YouTubers or even TikTok stars who will blow up on one single piece of content. For example, let's say that you're a person who makes baking content, right? And you, all of your content is baking. You do how I bake this cake, how I do this, you review different kinds of pots and pans, you do, you talk about different techniques, you talk about different dishes, you introduce them to new dishes. But you have this funny moment that occurred, right? Where you like drop the pan and it hits your foot and you post that as a short. Someone has never seen your content before. Those who have probably are going to intent, like immediately connect to it and be like, ha ha ha, that's really funny. But your normal, you know, your not normal audience are going to be disconnected to what's there and are gonna think, oh wow, I should follow because this looks like funny content, ha ha ha. But it's not your normal content. Even though it's still in the same niche, it's not your normal content. So when you get those people connected, now you've got people that aren't going to be following your main content anyway. So you're getting a subscriber that is not beneficial to your content. Oh, yo, the $10 home. Bro, we're in the middle of saying it, bro. Guys, we can get GG's in chat. Yo, dropping the 10, the 10 super chat. Bro, thank you, brother. Oh man, thank you so much. Yeah, I think I think when it comes to short, thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate the love. Uh, when it comes to making content and 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 trying to figure out how do I capitalize on it, your short form content needs to be very specifically driven to your main content, like it needs to be. Because if it's not, you're going to push them somewhere else. And back to the baking. You might grow hundreds of subscribers off this one post that's really funny, right? But then you post your next post and it doesn't pop off because they show it to the same audience and they don't like it. Well, it's probably because your next post isn't a pan falling on your foot, it's your normal type of content. Well, a lot of people will see this where they'll post one type of video and it blows up, but can they replicate that type of content? And the answer most of the time is no, because they don't know how to replicate what they created. So I, 
if you're not used to doing short form, don't venture into the path unless you have a very clear expectation of what's going to come from it. Either make sure it is exactly what your content is or or expect that you're going to get subscribers and kind of split your channel. That's kind of my thoughts on it. Guys, would you agree, not agree? Hardware says, uh, a friend of mine has 6,000 subs. He's changing up his content a bit and his newer style doesn't have, hasn't been doing that great. He wants to start a new channel and maybe fix this. Should he? The question hardwired is, what is his content? What was his content before compared to what his content is now? Is it drastically different? Like completely different field? The sort of, uh, that's sort of my concern with my last two shorts because they're so different from my usual, but I'm in a transitional phase. Yeah, it's Mara. Welcome to chat. Welcome, welcome. How's it going? Welcome. How are you tonight? How are you? Hello, hello. Yeah, I'm kind of a, I'm kind of enjoying um, this new setup with what I've got going on here. Um, I want to tell you about everything as we're going into this, just so that we're kind of understanding. I have moved my entire setup around Slapshot. What's up? Welcome to chat. I have moved my whole setup. Um, you normally, my desk was against this wall, okay? And we were, you were shooting this way, right? I am. Yes, I'm doing channel reviews, guys. If you want a channel review, tell me, in, tell me in chat. I'll add your name. We're just not doing exclamation join tonight, partially because I don't have that bot in my channel tonight. So just tell me and I'll add your name to the list. Um, but yeah, so I've moved my desk this way because I want to see my door. Um, can you add me? I got you. I got you. Yeah, it's Mira. Welcome back. You switch him for VR content to game development. Not incredibly different, but he feels like having an effect on his video's performance. I think it's I think it's different enough. He probably should make a new channel. That's just my opinion and thought. I do feel like that's a new channel kind of kind of kind of piece there. Um, but yeah, so what we've we've done is we moved the whole desk this way because I want to be able to see the 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 door because Hudson's walked in here almost pantsless multiple times. <laughs> and it's kind of been why I haven't been streaming as much. Um, because I want to make sure that, you know, I'm being safe for him, etc. So I've set up some some things to help me out. And making sure that we're safe protect in that case we've also switched the mics out we're trying the wave dx out for a little bit enjoying that we've added this i want to show you this so if you look over here it's going to focus on the microphone dang defocus um back here we have a our, our new little window here we've got avermedia elgato this is fi fine uh, hi, uh, this is Rode, HyperX, and some other stuff. Pretty excited about all of the stuff here. I'm getting some RGBs to put behind that. But we're, we're setting up the whole setup. I'm starting to do some more gaming content to expand my gaming channel. And I think this is a much more intimate feel. We're using the new Elgato teleprompter, which is what you're looking at right here. Um, literally, the, the teleprompter is right there. So really loving the new Elgato prompter. It's pretty awesome. And uh, highly, so far, I haven't made the content on it yet, but highly, 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 highly rec recommend. All right, but you're probably asking, what is this thing down here? Like, what is this? Um, I want to I want to explain that a little bit as we're getting into it. We're just going to continue to reviews, etc. And um, I kind of wanted to do horizontal tonight to see what performance would be like without doing verticals. So we can just have a good conversation and look at some content, ask questions. Um, Mira, we're going to get into yours first. You're the first person to ask. Slapshot, how you doing? It's definitely been a while. Um, yeah, so uh, what you're probably asking about is what is St. Jude? So um, Banjo, let me put you on the list. Banjo. Uh, exclamation join isn't working tonight. Uh, I don't have that bot in channel tonight. Uh, so here's what's happened. Um, I, I do St. Jude fundraisers every single year. And this past year, we did, or actually, this we've done our fourth annual Share the Love event. And we raised uh, just over $2,000 for Share the Love, or excuse me, for St. Jude, for fighting children's cancer, right? And so um, what's been really interesting is, as a community, we've raised well over $10,000 for St. Jude as just our community, which has been absolutely amazing. 
And so what I'm doing right now is uh, this is considered their challenge month, but I have an alternate reason for wanting to do a St. Jude charity event for this coming month and next month. Uh, and it's actually something that's personal. So here's what's happened. A good friend of ours, and when I say good friend, a really good friend of ours has her daughter in the hospital, actually about an hour away from us in, in kind of like a big metropolitan city. And um, the reason that she is there is they just found out that she has, um, and let me just go ahead and say this, her, her daughter is six or is eight months old. Her daughter is eight months old, okay? Her daughter has cancer. She just got diagnosed with cancer um, at the end of last week. An eight-month-old with cancer, guys. Liver cancer. She's already done one round of chemo. She's going to be doing another round of chemo. She's going on a feeding tube. And it is an extremely stressful time. And um, when I say she's close to us, like my wife literally dropped everything to drive over to the hospital the moment we found out. Like it's 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 way too close, right? And um, St. Jude is one of those research hospitals that has increased the survivability of childhood cancer in unfathomable exponential rate since the 1960s with all the research they do. We've been doing St. Jude research for the last, not research, but St. Jude charity events since 2019. Um, and it's been pretty awesome to be able to do that. Brian, welcome back. I've missed some streams. Yeah, Brian, it's all good. We're, we're actually, we haven't been streaming as much. We're back now. Um, but anyway, so what's what's happened is we've decided that, um, or I decided that I'm going to take the dive and um, in support of her, I'm not going to say her name. I haven't gotten permission to say her name yet. Um, but in support of her, we're going to do another charity stream. Okay. And normally I wouldn't do one so close to an event we just did, but um, I just feel like it's right. Um, I also have the opportunity to possibly be going let the end of this month going to St. Jude and actually going up to the campus again. I went last year, but actually go to the campus, tour the campus, talk about it, bring you guys with me and just talk about the experiences of St. Jude with you guys being there with me, you know, with, on stream and content, things like that. So I'm really excited to have that opportunity again this year. It's at the end of this month. Um, but what I'm, what I'm really wanting to do is this hits way too close to home. So what I want to do is we're going to raise some money and, and and do what we can as streamers in our platform to do the best that we can. OK, so here's what's going to happen for the next two months. Basically, I'm going to be doing every single stream where we are going to be doing this, where I'm going to be live and we're going to to just kind of do this. I'm going to be streaming a lot more. We're going to be making content, obviously, but I'm going to be streaming a lot more. Not always on this channel, so I want to go ahead and tell you twitch.tv slash darkensiris, or on the YouTube side, I have a gaming channel, which I'll be streaming on uh, multiple times during the week. We're going to try to do one to two of these kind of streams that week, one of them being vertical, guaranteed, and one of them horizontal, trying to be, have a little bit more of an intimate conversation like what we're having tonight. Um... But my goal is to raise $500. I would love to raise $500 before I even make it up to um, St. Jude. But the truth is, I would love to be able to hit, I don't know. I set the team goal as 500 and my goal is 500 because I'm not sure how many people want to jump in. But I'll say this. If you're a streamer and you want to be able to help in this cause and, and grow and drive and continue to push this, um, I would encourage you to do that. And what I mean by that is I would encourage you to um, just go ahead and and jump into my Tiltify team and then become a part of that. And if you want to be a part of that, join the Discord. I can set you up on it. I'm going to be making a post about it soon so that we can maybe make this goal $2,000, $3,000 for the team and just leave mine personal one at 500 But I want to crush it. Why not just stream horizontal? and vertical simultaneously i totally could i probably should could i could i do that right now i could probably set that up is that hard for me to set up maybe maybe not it might not it might not be too hard for me to set up i'm not really sure man i can't believe that six months is crazy hopefully they can call Thank it early you. enough 
Yo, Sever! Yo, guys, give me the GG's in chat! Yo! Yo! Sever already dropping a 50. Yo! Yo! Guys. G. G. Sever. Guys, already dropping 50. A tenth of the way through our goal. Guys, can we get CGZ, GG's in chat? Oh my god. Sever, thank you so much for the support, man. Zebulon, what's up? Welcome to chat. Guys, maybe we should set up and do some vertical stuff, but um, it might be too much for me to try to set up right here while I'm like talking to you guys. I'm not really sure. We'll see what we can do. Can I set this up together? Can we set this up like at this exact moment? Let's kick this off. I know, right? Guys, I'm excited to... I'm excited to be a part of something, again, as usual, bigger than myself. And so doing doing these things is really exciting for me. So do y'all... Are y'all cool with that? Do you want me to set up? Should I set up and stream both? Can I stream horizontal and vertical at the same time? Could I, could I do that? How do I join the queue? Catastrophe, I'm just gonna add your name. Is that cool? Um, I don't have the bot tonight. So I'm gonna rely on my eyes to just take a look at it. So Catastrophe, I got you on the list. Um, I've got Yetz, yeah, Mira, Banjo, and Catastrophe. That's Lambo. What's up? Welcome to chat. I've watched a bunch of your videos about mics. Really think about Miona PD 400 x Seems like it's the best bang for the buck. Any other options for $100, $150 for USB XLR? Nope. 100% Mayono PD400X. Love that microphone. Love it. If the Elgato Wave DX, this microphone had USB, I would tell you to get that one, but it doesn't. Sounds good. Yep. I like horizontal better. I agree. Are y'all cool if I take this moment and we can set up a, a horizontal one as well, or a vertical one? Can we do that? Can I maybe get on the list again? Kane Lion Channel. Yeah, you can. Let's do it. Kane Lion my cane lion channel sub bro rick what's up how's it going how do you get in the queue uh you just tell me uh, we don't have exclamation join tonight um because i don't have a Streamlabs bot connected so i'm just doing it manual tonight sometimes brandon you sound like there's a robot effect in your voice is that right it's probably because i'm peeking am i peeking the mic oh i'm totally peeking the mic let me turn it down just a little bit testing one two three maybe maybe it's because i'm peeking and I can turn the microphone back up with this. Yeah, I probably have I probably have the microphone just too hot, and I'm I'm too close to it. What's up, Obi? Obi? What's up, brother? Yeah. So Rick, is it Rick One Ball? Is that you? We're gonna start doing these reviews here in just a second. Please put me in the queue manually. Yeah, totally. It's like a phaser effect sound. Am I doubling the audio somehow? Is it phasing? Are y'all getting? Oh, you are. Remove input. Testing one, two, three. Is it coming in, or am I being am I being stupid? Does it sound bad? Fifty dollars sever though. Something is wrong with the audio. Something is wrong with my audio. There we go. Oh yeah, better sounds. Oh. Let me ask you this. Hold on. Let me mute this. I'm going to add something, okay? Um, so this is my... What you should be hearing right now is the microphone on my camera, right? That's the microphone on my camera. This should be my microphone coming through, right? It shouldn't, it shouldn't be interfering at all. Maybe. Is it better? Ah, uh, okay. So is it, is it gone now? Is it fixed? Is it better now? Are we all good if I switched it out? Hopefully that's, hopefully that's fixed. Cause I don't want to have to do that. Nope. It's good now. It's audio sounds good now. Okay, good. All right, good. I love it. I love it when a plan comes together. How about that? I love it when a plan comes together. Let's do 7,000. I'm going to hit OK. Um, I have nothing in these sources, guys. And I don't even have anything going because I'm not in Pry or Prism tonight. I'm in regular OBS. 
Webcam might is not a winner. You fixed it. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Yeah, as long as it's fixed, as long as you guys can hear my sultry, very amazing voice over here. <laughs> ah! Yeah, it's not necessarily a webcam. It's, it's no line. Yo, anonymous with a 25. Anonymous with a 25. We're at $75. We just started. We just started. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see. Can I, I'm doing this right now. If I can actually go and create a new one, let's see. No cancel. I don't want to do, I want to make, can I make a new stream? Can I make a new stream? Boom. De settings. Can I go create, go live? I might not be able to do it. This stream can be accessed again from the manager list. Exiting it will not end a stream if it's currently live. Okay, cool. All right, uh, schedule stream. Um, let's just do reuse settings. We're gonna call this number 19 vertical. Oh man, I just realized that none of this is set up. Brother. Let's set it as unlisted for right now. We're gonna hit done. Bruh. All right, let's see if I, let's see if I can get this going really quick. Oh no, I don't think I'm gonna be able, let's just, let's just set up one overlay, one overlay. Um, uh, how do I do this? Uh, scene guys, you're going to do this with me. You want to see what I'm doing as I'm actively doing it. Oh no, you can't technically can't see it because I'm doing something. What's up my man, LHN. Welcome. Mike is doing that thing again. Is it really Elaine craft? Welcome. Is it really doing the thing? What are we talking about? How am I, what am I doing here? Is it really? I need to hear it. YouTube.com. I want to start reviewing some channels. Let's hear what it sounds like. I need to hear it. YouTube. Oh, weird. Com. I want to start reviewing some channels. Let's hear oh. what it sounds like. I need to hear it. YouTube. Oh, weird. Com. I want to start reviewing some channels. Now you're not hearing it. Testing one, two, three. Why does it sound like that? What is, what is the problem? Why does it sound like that? What in the world? Yes, sir. I made a pottery making video that just throwing the wheel. ASMR type thing. 8% click through rate. Yo, Zebulon. Oh, I, I hear it doing that thing. What is that about? Oh, I hear it. I hear it. Let's turn off processing. All right, let's see what happens if I do it this way. Testing one, two, three. Sounds fine to me. Let's turn this the volume down. Testing, 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 one, two, three, processing's off. Oh, I hear it. What in the world is up with that, guys? What have y'all done to my microphone? What have y'all done? Oh, wow, that is so bad. Do you have pitch correction on? Do you have it's intermittent? It is intermittent though. Oh God, I hear it. Sorry, that probably popped for your ears, guys. Is it the microphone? Okay, so now we're on the SM7B, which is going to need considerably more gain. Testing one, two, three. It does sound like it does sound like it's auto tuned though. What is up with that? Testing one, two. What is up with this? What in the world? Heard it again. Testing one, two. Testing one, two. Oh, 
I heard it. I heard it as well. What's the problem with this, guys? What is? I can't. I don't want to have to deal with microphone problems. I want to over do and review your channels. All right, processing's on again. I hear it. What is the deuce with that? Don't think the mic's the problem. I don't think the mic, the mic is the problem either. I see audio, fast, true, true push, general, output, audio. All of this looks fine. What is up with... That's going to be way too loud. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. I still hear it. What is, what is up? Let me, let me unplug this and replug it. Give me a second. It's like there's a phaser on. Testing one, two. Testing one, two, three. Uh, okay, now I can't hear myself. Maybe I can hear myself. Test, test, test. Testing one, two, three. Test, test, test. Testing one, two, three. Oh, test, test, test. Testing one, two, three. I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to listen to it myself. Where's Wave? Now I've got no game audio myself. What is happening, people? I just wanted to stream and do some nice things with you. Okay, so technically, I think it might have been Rode. Like, I must have triggered some kind of effect somehow, somewhere, some way. I don't hear it now. I think that did it. Maybe. This mic works. Yeah, I don't think it's the mic. I'm not... It does sound better. Testing one, two, three. Yeah, okay. So I think we're going to stick with what it is right now. I think this is... I think we're going to be fine. I got processing on. I got all this stuff on. No chorus, no EQ, everything. Brother! Oh my gosh. Okay. I need to stop listening to myself because that's weird to hear. Oh, man. It seems like every time I start to get something going good, you know, it just seems like something gets poopied and then I have to do this kind of like let's back up and try again kind of game. And it's kind of like booby. I don't, I wish it wasn't like that. Um, but you know what? I think that's just kind of part of the game, right? It's just this, I have to kind of figure out what's going to be working and what's kind of not going to be working, I guess. I don't really know. We'll have to, we'll just have to see. I need to get this browser piece here and then I'm going to go live over on. YouTube. YouTube Shorts. I need to get plus browser, and then we're going to go on live on Shorts. St. Jude Alerts. And we're going to leave that right here. And then we're also going to do YouTube Alerts. Make that one shorter. And put that somewhere down here. All right, cool. 
All right, sounds like you're trying. Winning is just pushing through. <laughs> I know. I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm beating myself like my head against a wall, though. That's what it feels like. Streaming hell. Oh. It just feels like sometimes that's how I'm, unfortunately, having to deal with something. So you know what? Boom. Boom. Copy. Paste. We're going to click OK. You know what we're going to do? We're going to hit go live. And we're going to see if my computer blows up or not. Pop out chat. Copy. Docs. Docs. Um, boom. Apply. Close. Take this. Close. Edit docs. Bert chat. All right. Now, in theory, I can't believe I just did all that live. You sound fine. You sound smooth. All right. Good. Chat. Not having milk. Welcome. We are not going to be doing a regular queue tonight. We're going to be doing things just a little different. Um, we're going to be doing. Uh, just manual stuff, not having milk. Um, but I will say that, here, let me grab this. Let's actually find this, like, link. Boom. Can I get this link? What am I doing? Content. Live. All right, let's get started. Kane, we have Yetz, Mira is going to be first, then Kane, no. Yetz, Mira, Banjo, Catastrophe, anyway. Let's get past all of that. If you have questions tonight, if you have questions tonight, please ask. You're doing a great play-by-play, -play, I know, right? If you have questions tonight, please ask. I'd love to be able to answer any questions that you guys might have. Um, but honestly, in that same case, anything that you want to be able to kind of have a chat about, um, I think that's what's really important. Sometimes these lives... Uh, there's just a really great way to just jump in and have a good conversation. But I think a lot of times we have good conversations with issues that you guys run into. So let's, let's just take the time and figure out like how we can help, you know, grow the best that we can. Right. I think that that's what's really important. Mez, what's up? Well, welcome to chat. How's it going? We're live on YouTube Shorts and Vertical. We're about to get started reviewing some channels. If you want your channel reviewed, um, just go ahead and post in chat, hey, I want my channel reviewed. My moderators, if I don't catch it, my moderators will, and I'll make sure to, uh, to connect with you guys and do that. If you want to watch Vertical, go right ahead. If you want to watch Horizontal, go right ahead. Completely up to you guys how you want to be able to do that. Consider donating to St. Jude. Um, boom, let's delete that. Awesome. Boom. Take this pen. Hope everything is well. That's amazing to see. Thank you so much. Yeah. So we have so many things that we're working on. Uh, but the truth is what I want to talk about, uh, is this right here. I just want to highlight this one more time before we get in to doing some reviews guys. We are currently sure you want to sub, you want to become a member, love all of that. But if you have some money and you want to donate to a great cause, we're doing this for the whole month of January and for the month of, or excuse me, month of April and month of May. We're raising money for St. Jude. And the main reason is we kind of had a, it hit us kind of close and hard with um, childhood cancer in our family, really close, really, really good friend of ours. Their daughter just got diagnosed with it and she's eight months old. Liver cancer, guys. Um, so kind of crazy. So if you guys want to help and support, um, uh, there's a, a pinned link at the very top um, to be able to jump into that uh, and, and be able to donate. If you can't do that because you're on vertical streams, uh, you can go to the horizontal stream and just click the pinned link then go to the link there. Anyway, thank you so much, guys. We're going to be doing some live reviews tonight. The join queue is not working. So with that join queue not working, we're just going to be doing the manual. I've already got a, a queue of people already ready to go. And we're going to be taking a look at those people. Yes, yeah, Mira, are you here? We're taking a look at you first. Cyclops, welcome to chat. Guys, we are live, vertical and horizontal. Alex, welcome to chat. 
everyone who's here. Please make sure you like, comment, all those things that make things work really well and in our favor. Uh, whatever, whatever you can do to make this a fantastic opportunity for everyone. Please, please, please do that. Yes. All right. Yes, Mira. What are we taking a look at? Have we, have we looked at your channel before? That's the real question. I think we have we not looked at your channel before. This doesn't look like I have looked at your channel. Have we looked at your channel? Yeah. Guys, welcome to chat. If you're just jumping in, we're raising some money. Could you take a look at mine, Darth Greco? I'll add you to the list, list, Darth. I'll add you to the list, Darth. Darth Greco. I got you here. We're doing yet yeah, mirror first. How are you, Alex? I'm great. How are you, Alex? Greggy D, welcome to chat. Nah, nah, never have. Okay, okay. Let's take a look at it, guys. We're going to go ahead and review this content as we go. As usual, please make sure you share some love to any of the creators that you see in chat. We're testing out several things tonight, including the new wa or the Wave DX mic. Let me know how my microphone sounds tonight. And we're using the Elgato teleprompter Elgato just sent over. Elgato has been doing and killing it with just supporting the channel lately. I hope, I hope that... They we become Elgato partners soon. That's really what I would like. I would I, like one of my bucket list things was to become an Elgato partner. And it seems like I've been having more conversations with them lately. So maybe, maybe. But um, I would love to be an Elgato uh, person. I think that's so cool. We're already an Aver Media person. That was one thing I checked off my list. We're affiliated with Rode, all those people. But yeah, um, so excited about this. All right, let's take a look at it. This is yeah, it's Mira. Um, there's nothing in your about section. We totally need to make sure there's stuff here in the about section. Studio.youtube.com. Go to customization and then make sure you add something here. I'm going to share your video. Alex, thank you so much. Sheesh. W content creation. I really appreciate you. Um, we're taking a look at your content, guys. 1.76K subscribers for Mira. Um, is it Mira or Mira? Let me make sure I say that right. Um, Cyclops, how you doing? 175K views. Really excited about seeing where your content is going. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna take a look at your latest video. We'll kind of look at everything in its entirety and just kind of give you my overall thoughts. Um, uh, guys, what do you think so far? Just looking at this, what do you think of these thumbnails as I'm scrolling through? What are your thoughts on what you see? And by the way, this is a community effort, guys. This isn't me saying that I'm this all, all being knowing solution, guys. What are your thoughts with uh, the thumbnails that you see? What do you think? Good, bad? Um, here's all the thumbnails. Let's see, we've posted posting some shorts. Um, how how recently are we posting shorts? Uh, March 25th. That's uh, just a week ago. Lives. We are doing lives 22 hours ago, four days ago. Cool. I love the avatar that's consistent on your on your thumbs. Playlists, and we're using a community even as early as 15 hours ago. Congratulations. Thumbnails are great. Thumbnails look original. Honestly, not knowing that she would do. Not knowing what she was would click on it. It's just something about the thumbnails. Look at that. Now that's pretty good. Can you give me a shout out? What's up, Alex? A lot of color. I like it. Very consistent. Good she. Yeah, I mean, it is really nice. It looks like all of your thumbnails are consistent, which is what I like. There's some good elements. Let's watch your latest video. All right, here we go. Let's get started. What's up, everybody? And yes, I am back. Oh, also, if there are any copyright kind of content guys please make sure you tell me if there's anything copyright that i'm going to run into just so that i don't run into anything unexpectedly please too much words in the thumbnail With though all right video. rick in today's video we are going to be making all of the new vehicles in legos fortnite newest update that just came out today so let's get right into it i'm actually really excited if you guys have checked out any of my um like lego fortnite builds just period i've always talked about wanting There's cars for me, like you. for the longest what's up maverick i've always Welcome wanted cars okay so this one is the speeder okay this doesn't really look like a, like it's about to be a car not gonna hold y'all what do you think chat what are your thoughts okay Opinions, feelings, emotions, doubts, worries. What do you feel with this I guess content? This is like the prop. New setup, Maverick. Yeah, we just turned everything, man. Oh. I'm getting RGBs for the for the the K 
cabinet behind me for tomorrow. RGB's coming tomorrow. Okay, let's let's get in the corner. <laughs> All right, so yeah, uh, what are your what are your thoughts? Good. Okay, can I get on the list? Matt's world. I'll add you up, guys. We're live on Mart's world. We're live on YouTube, vertical and horizontal. So if you're watching either one, you want to see the other, just go go to my channel. You can see the other one, guys. What are your thoughts on this? Very laid back. Let's get in the shut up and drive. drive, drive. <laughs> this shut up and drive uh, is cute. Shut up and is there? No. <laughs> can I go fast? What does the R do? It says speeder. Okay, I don't know what this R does. F. This, is it gears? What does this F do? The F. What do these commands do? The R F C. All right, so let's go back to the very intro. It's chill. It's like a live. I think it's good. Yet yeah, sometimes I feel like I have a hard time grabbing audience attention in the beginning. Oh, I see it now. What's up, Winter? Welcome to chat. Yeah, so let's take a look at it. So at What's the very beginning. What's up, everybody? And yes, I am back with another video. It's maybe a bit quiet for me. It's kind of about at a negative 11 is what, is what they're speaking at. What's up, everybody? And yes, I am back with another video. In today's video, we are going to be making all of the new vehicles in LEGO's Fortnite newest update that just came out today. So let's get right into it. I'm actually really excited if you guys have checked out. So we're 16 minutes or 16 seconds rather into the video before we actually see content move on the screen. So you just said, you just said in chat, this is yet yeah, Mira guys, by the way, they're over in the horizontal chat and said, I feel like sometimes I have a hard time grabbing audience attention in the beginning. I think the big thing that you're having here is you actually have a really good presence about your voice, but I think you're taking a while before you get into it. I think there was a way to probably start this video and then still say everything you just did, but in a different order. For example, what's up, everybody? You got this. What's up, everybody? My name. And yes, I am back with another video. In today's video, we are going to be making all of the new vehicles. I think before we even get to know what your video is about, it's eight seconds in, right? That's kind of a long time before somebody's going to like commit to something. So what I would what I would really say to you here is probably start with the very beginning. I if I were to do this video and do the intro, I would say. Um, you know, in this video, we're going to be making all of the brand new cars that are in Legos, whatever, for Lego Fortnite. Really excited about this. And you're probably seeing some of them right now. Let me know how you're enjoying the, the update right now down in the comments. What's up, everyone? My name is Mira, and welcome back to another video. Let me show you these speeders. I think if you flipped it and then set the stake of what's going to occur at the front, would have been more important than giving them that, yo, it's good, back with another video. Like, if you would put it as, in this video, we're covering this, and then as you're talking about your showing, like, the new stuff, you've already recorded all this content, post it, show some of the... Uh, B-roll of what's occurring, like some of the new speeders, like show either the thumbnails of them or like show little bits of them, right? Just cut, move, and move that stuff over. I think that's really important. But then you can still do your intro and say like, hey, how's it going? Welcome back. Really appreciate you guys, et cetera, et cetera, Strata. But what it really does is it gets you to the topic. The listener that comes in already knows what you're going to be doing and is bought in from the new spot. Karos, what's up? Welcome. I love the new angle. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm really working on it. I'm going to be putting some RGB behind this. But I did it so I could see the door because my son's walked in my room uh, pantsless after trying to get out of the bathtub and can't get his underwear up. And I don't want to break TOS. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah. Yeah, get, not even get straight to the topic. State the topic first. You can still do your normal intro, right? You can still do your normal intro, but you need to make sure that you set the stage and don't do like your full like, yo, how's it going? My name's Brandon and welcome back to another video. I really love you guys. Thank you so much for what you're doing. Yeah, you're so awesome. Yeah, today we're talking about an Xbox controller. Like it took that long before we figure out like what you're actually doing. Uh, it, like you don't have to do that. Like give them the stake at the front or just skip it and just go right into it. Like just just jump straight in. Mary, welcome to chat. I think I think that's what's really important. So don't even hesitate. Just jump straight in, right? Um, let's look at a little bit of the later of the stuff. See, so you've got speeder, off road, the hauler, and then some of the outro. I want to skip forward in the video and see how you interact throughout. 
Guys, These if you if you agree or disagree with me, comment down below, guys. What are your thoughts? LHN now, says, jump straight to the topic, description, the intro, exactly what you're saying. DC, is this it? thank I'm you. I'm missing a piece, right? Okay, but this is. Anybody it. else? More loud and attention grabbing? Okay. All right. Let me get in. Oh. I agree to disagree. Banjo says, I agree to disagree. It's not like shorts feeds where people don't know what they're clicking in the title and thumbnail. I. You're not wrong, Banjo. You're not wrong, but. YouTube analytics still show that the, the sharpest drop off on a viewer attention is in the first five, six, seven seconds, right? It's that quick, five, six, seven seconds. Like that's, it's, it's that quick. So even though you're still clicking a thumbnail, you know, you get the opportunity to set the stage. Um, when it comes to seeing, I've got you, uh, I've got you Maverick. When it comes to actually making sure that people are going to be in the video, you can't argue with the analytics. Even though they're clicking a thumbnail and stuff, if they don't get the right vibe, you're not selling it at the very beginning. I mean, the, the, you can't lie with the analytics. Oh, no, 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 don't push it, girl. Get in. No, <laughs> I love your it. energy. All right, cool. What does these buttons do? Somebody let me know in the comment section below. I'm probably, I'm pretty sure you guys know what they do. Okay. This one definitely goes slow compared to the speed. Usually, blades. some like, "Hey everyone, have you skinned a hamster?" The speeder <laughs> better go faster <laughs> than any one of them. Okay, uh, so that's this one. I got oh, a wait, Wave Mic Three. It's, it's freaking nice. This is the Wave oh, DX mic, guys. Wave Mic Three is okay. No, it won't roll. That's right pretty there. dope. So it'll stay just like that. Okay, now you need to increase do... your bit rate just a little bit more, just a little bit. Okay, so I love the whole... Oh my god, that thing is huge. I loved the whole discussion, discussion part you had here, right? You had some moments where you were driving around, and you know there wasn't much being said, but I didn't feel like I was losing any kind of attention it's through that. Honor. Maybe you, maybe when you say it like, all right, this is the hauler. Let's go ahead and build it. You already have one built already, and then you show the building process. So far, I think everybody is really happy with this... Um with this Lego Fortnite update, I'm not really my... like I don't I don't know this content to be able to say like this is what I know is going to work for this specific content because I don't play Lego Fortnite. Um, like me including, I took a little break from Lego Fortnite just because I felt like um I was getting burnt out a little bit. Not gonna lie to y'all, but with this update, oh yeah, it's up and it's stuck. <laughs> it's up and it's stuck. <laughs> Oh man, like standing on update, business. But what they did, um, is that what it's doing? Standing on business with the beach kits? Yeah, that's probably the worst. That's definitely what that's got the, me back That's the millennial of me trying Fortnite. to do Gen Z reference. I won't lie to y'all. That's so cool that you get to build them like that. Standing on business. <laughs> yeah, um, they all look the same. Here's my thing: is that. Everything that you're doing through this is really good. You're having conversations. You made it a personal there. I think this video would perform really well. I don't think it's a bad video. And even though I like boo booed on the intro a little bit, it wasn't a bad intro. It's just something that if I was doing it, I probably that's probably what I would make an adjustment on. Not saying that it was necessarily bad, but those are the things that I would do. Right. Let's look at your description. Oh, yeah. You got to make this description a whole heck of a lot longer. 100%. Somebody's put timestamps somewhere. Um, uh, somebody's put just chapters somewhere, but uh, maybe you put them, but it's not showing them here. Yeah, so it's got to have, you got to have a whole bunch, like a bunch more stuff down here in the bottom. Um, thumbnails, maybe? New items, cars, version. It's very busy, right? And maybe what I would have done was show a picture of one of the cars with maybe a like a uh, what's the speedometer and have it say like you know 103 kilometers per hour right beside it and just literally like with the text of hold on that might be the way I would have done that thumbnail instead of just saying new items and showing this and I think I would have probably been a little bit more drastic with making people click in thinking how fast they are and gets people on that. Um, just real simple, real quick, clean, nothing over the top. Just like this this shot that you had right here of the golf cart looking one, this one, like that's it. Like I would put a speedometer. That's probably the way I would do that. Looking at these, some of these other thumbnails, they're just very busy. Like this one, Cinderella Speed Build, that's right here, guys. 
Um, I'll zoom in so that verticals can see it. Um, Cinderella speed build, this one specifically. This The problem I have with this is you've got a lot of light colors in it. The floor is light. The walls are light. The blue on the, on the beds are light. The only thing dark are the picture frames, and that's what sticks out. Um, but then you've got Cinderella as white and blue. All of that blends together, right? And the Dream, Dreamlight Valley needed some kind of a, a shadow on it. Speed build is too small to be, like, able to be seen. Okay, whenever you're building thumbnails, guys, you got to remember that people see them at this big. There's a website that you can test them at, which is called thumbsup.tv. And you can go in here and drop any kind of a thumbnail. Let's just let's just do the one for this stream that I'm doing right here. Um, it's some kind of blah, 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 minimalist reg. Uh, yeah, here we go. So when I drop this in, if as long as you have your browser at 100%, you'll see the exact size that people are going to see the thumbnails at. This is called thumbsup.tv. This is a really good way to see what your thumbnails are going to look like, how people would actually view them, because we designed them this big, like big, right? But people view them this big. <clears throat> COD won't update on my Xbox. I'm about to blow it up. Might be the time to play a different game then. I think some of these thumbnails, you need to think of what are some contrasting colors. Like the Tangled Bedroom, sure, the white sticks out, but then you've got the purple around it, which ties into all the other purple in the room. Bell's Room, it's a really picture, this cool picture of Bell's Room, right? But um, I, th I think it could have, you didn't even have to put Bell's Room speed build. You could have just used the picture of Bell's Room. Rags to Riches is probably your cleanest thumbnail because there's enough contrast between rags to riches to the rest of the thumbnail. But what is rags to riches, right? Instead of saying part one, part two, part three, all of them saying rags to riches, you could have put like um, bench sleeping plus $357, right? Or, um, you know... Uh, sim fishing, eight, eight hours, eight hours fishing equals $1,573, right? Joy, welcome to chat. I think there was a lot of things that you could have done. Exclamation Discord, guys. We'll get you the link for Discord. I think there's a lot of things that you could have done differently. There's thumbnails that wouldn't tie it specifically to that. Like a job, right? Put in your workout, like your hours. You could put like make it real, you know? Eight hours equals blank, 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 blank for fishing, question mark. Like, that could have been what you've done here on the thumbnail, um, other than the other stuff. I think that that was really important. Power World Base Tour, I think that's fine. And obviously, look, 3.4K views. Um, but then you got to look at what are your videos and what have popped off recently. Three months ago, uh, obviously, your LEGO Fortnite stuff has done really well. And this thumbnail pattern has worked. Obviously, look, you've got three videos in your best three videos with this thumbnail. I would keep doing this kind of thumbnail. I think that that's really nice. I think that the text is a little hard to read, but that being said, it obviously worked. This thumbnail obviously worked because of blurred background, single item, and then really strong text. Look, really strong text, really strong text, really strong text. Really strong text, but then you get into these that are your less performing videos. You've got this one that says really strong text, right? But it's also like, I mean, it's just the Palia update. What's specific? Show me something that's nice from that, right? Rags to riches, it's not telling us what, what's going to happen here. It's not giving us what's there. So those are my things. So a little clickbaity. Here's the problem, okay? This is most people will say this. It's not clickbait if you deliver. If you deliver, you're not clickbaiting. So if you tell them, and also don't don't think about that its specific technique is clickbaity. If you're gonna deliver on what you're telling them that you're gonna do, it is not clickbait, nor can it be clickbait. So don't overthink it. I think so many people might overthink what's occurring, but that's not the case. It's not clickbait. If you com convert, it's not. Empty split, what's up? Steve, what's up? Welcome to chat. Guys, we are not using the bot tonight. It's the first night we're not in a while. And that's just because I'm using the bot for my gaming channel now, which is a different channel, and I don't want to pull it just to be able to use it for just for these streams. I need to figure out a new solution. Maybe I just make a new, a separate, 
maybe a separate Streamlabs account that's just for this. Maybe. I'm not really sure. Probably once every three days. PD400X come in. I can't wait. Ah, Adrian. The PD400X is so good. I don't have it anymore, but that's because I gave it to a friend who is a streamer, and I knew he would love it because I think it's that good. Right? Same for Rags to Riches. Yeah, same exact thing. Darkness Cloud fell upon my house, and that means a Darkness Cyrus. Ha, ha, ha. What's up, Joy? Community does Warzone. Can I join? Empty, I've already got you on the list, man. We're going to be going through anyone who is a... Uh, I don't think there's anyone on here that is on the list tonight already that is a member. So if you're members, you get priority access. But I'm going to ask you this. Instead of doing members, guys, exclamation, exclamation charity. Okay? If you do exclamation, I believe it's exclamation charity. Hopefully this is working. If you do exclamation charity, it should pop up the, the correct um, thing, right? That link is going to take you to the the donation page. If you do the donation, I'll, I'll jump you to the top of the line. All right? Donate to St. Jude, guys. We're doing a $500 push for St. Jude right now. And we're doing that because um, we, I would literally call her my niece. Like, she, she has uh, liver cancer. She just got diagnosed last week. So we're going to do the best thing that we can. I'm looking to upgrade my camera and have been seeing a lot of recommendations for the A6400 and 16 lens. Would you agree? I don't know. What do you think? Do you think it looks... Do you think what I have right here looks good? Because uh, this is the Sony FX30, okay, which is the same crop sensor as the A6400. Uh, and you're looking at the Sigma 16 millimeter right now. Like, the, if you like this shot, this is the shot you would get. Now, granted, I'm shooting an S-Log3 at 4K60 and doing a bunch of color correction, but this is the shot you would get. Like, I'm holding up product. Okay? This is the shot you would get, kind of get. Which is really impressive. I do like the shot, then that you would get this shot. Cyrus, have you played or seen Content Warning yet? I haven't. What is that? Oh, it's behind like 30 minutes? Oh, wow. So, dude, I'm sorry to hear that. It's crazy. Honestly, I... I think I think the fact that there there is a, a treatment plan is making it easier for everyone. So she's going through two rounds of chemo right now, and um, she, since she's doing two rounds of chemo, they're going to see if the tumor shrinks. If it shrinks, then they're going to do surgery to remove it. If it doesn't shrink, they're going to do two more rounds and then do still do surgery. Um, I think that that's important. Thank you. Yo, empty split dropping a ten. Guys, we're at $85 already, and we've just, we haven't even been streaming, what, not even an hour? Maybe just an hour? Yo, $85 empty split. Empty's going into the front of the front of the pack here, guys. Yo, guys, can we get GG's in chat, both chats? Doesn't matter where you are. Yo. Yo. Already $85 raised for, for charity, guys. Absolutely amazing. Thank you. Hey, for me to you, thank you so much. F cancer, to be honest, hot take. I know it's not a hot take. Nope, I completely agree with you. Completely agree with you. In our community, the darkness, if you come jump in, if you want to be a part of this fundraiser and you also fundraise, uh, we have a we have a master goal of five hundred dollars, which I'll probably bump to maybe two thousand if I get other people to join in to do this fundraiser with me. Um, but you could set your own individual goal of like a hundred bucks or fifty or, or three thousand. It doesn't matter. Um, but we can work towards that common goal. I think that'd be really cool. If you want to do that, jump into exclamation Discord, and uh, I'll be making a post about it probably sometime tomorrow about how to join and be a part of this uh, piece. Eighty five dollars, guys. Yeah. Guys, it's so it's anything we can do, and obviously St. Jude is the place because they have all of the research opportunities there to help fight childhood cancer. So it's the best way I know that we can be able to help um, in what we're doing. Cool. All right, cool. Let's get started. Empty split. Hey, Mira, congratulations. I love your content. I love where it's going. You are amazing, and um, I'm really excited to see what you're doing, and I'm excited to see where you're going. Please make sure you come back. I'm curious to see uh, how you adjust to make some adjustments. Awesome job. You still doing the creators video? Like, are you talking to creators to interview? Yes, Brian. Um, so I finally figured out a way to go ahead and schedule everyone. Um, but we just put everything that happened last week and all this stuff. I just haven't sent it out yet. So yes, it's, I'm going to post it on my community post probably this week. That'll say, hey, everyone who go ahead and like, I'm going to I'm gonna message the people independently who also did. 
but I'm going to go ahead and message people and say like, Hey, how's it going? Uh, here's what you can go ahead and be able to do. And you're going to be able to basically just add a time slot on my schedule. And then we're just going to go live or record content at that time uh, to do your interview and just be real quick, real easy. We'll, we'll, we'll plan out an hour and then try to stick under that. And um, we'll just go live and we'll prob probably just do it in like discord or something. And then just kind of enjoy the opportunity. Pew! What's up? Welcome to chat. Hashtag suggestions for YouTube shorts in which I eat Gordon Ramsay's Wellington balls. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah. Hashtag Gordon Ramsay. Hashtag balls. Hashtag uh, um, Master Chef. Hashtag uh, Hell's Kitchen. Things like that. Pew, how's it going? Welcome to chat. How do you get interviewed? Uh, so I put out a post a couple weeks ago saying reach out to me on Twitter or Discord and we would set up a time to get interviewed. And you're just, all you're doing is talking about your channel. I'm just asking you about you. And it's just an opportunity for you to kind of, you know, talk about what you're doing in your life and stuff. That's really all it is, is you just jump into a party. We'll have a conversation beforehand, make sure everything's good. And then if we're good, we're good. Empty. We've taken a look at your channel yet before, haven't we? Have we taken a look at your channel, brother? Actually, now that I'm looking at it, I'm not sure we have. Yo, Wody, how's it going? Wody, we're not using the bot tonight. Um, I'm in the middle of transitioning to using some other system and I don't like it. So we're not using, um, we're not using that. So I'm gonna put Wody Mac and then when we get to you, I'll just ask you to go and tell me what your stuff is. We'll jump there, Wody. I got you on the list though. I got a list right here, guys. I just got it up above me right up here in the top. Last time I was over 100 subscribers. Okay, that's what I thought. I wasn't over 100. Yo, 100 subs. I love, love growth. I love that so much. All right, let me remind myself. Hi, I'm empty. I'm an indie filmmaker. I remember this now. But love to a good horror game. My brothers sometimes make content on the channel, so don't be alarmed. They're just split personalities. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, I don't know. Yo! 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 How do we do this? Guys, we at GG's in chat. Slapshot Tech just dropped a solid hundy. A solid hundy, guys! Yo! Oh, the wrong thing. <laughs> Not a grand, a hundo. Somebody dropped a hundred. Yo! Slapshot! Oh, you guys are cracked. Oh my God, you guys are cracked. Yo! <laughs> guys, could we actually hit $500 tonight? Is that even possible to hit $500 tonight? With the, with the four, PND 400X, is there anything I need to do? Eliminate keyboard mouse clicks? We go to go since it's dynamic. Just get it as close as you can, Adrian. Just like this, think like the distance I'm at, right? Get it this close. Just get it up as close as you can. Get a mic arm, get it as close as you can. $100 slap shot. Yo! <laughs> oh my god, we just started this charity event, guys. Imagine I hit 500 and I have to rethink like, all right, good game, guys. Yeah. <laughs> minimum is 10. I think minimum is, I don't know what minimum is. I'm not really sure. Yo, that's so crazy. All right, all right. Okay, okay. Let's, let's get back to reviews. It, what, Slapshot, you're going to be next, brother. I would donate, but yeah, I spent $5 this month for super memberships. Don't have a great source of income. Joy, hey, just being here and chatting, I really appreciate you. And guys, if you want to donate, thank you. If you can't donate, thank you. <laughs> what I mean by that is just thank you for being here. If you can and you want to fight childhood cancer, your donations do go a long way. Trust me, I've been there. I've seen the impact. Okay? They're fully self-funded off of what you do. All of your money goes directly to patients. 109 subscribers, 155 videos, 32,000 views. Oh, gosh. $185 already raised. That's crazy. Yeah, they don't... When you when you have someone who's in St. Jude, like, you don't even pay for... You don't pay to stay there. You don't pay for treatments. You don't pay for anything. It's everything is covered by St. Jude so that you can just focus on getting better. Everything. Is Darth Greco on the list? Yes, I've got you on the list, Darth. I didn't show, I didn't know you was doing a charity stream. Yep. Do you have that soundboard still? Uh, it's actually right there. It's right behind me. Yes. I'm using the uh, Road Streamer X right now. Yep. We're doing charity stream. 
Um, we're doing charity stream for the next month. I was thinking it was going to take about a month to get there, but um, I mean, we're we're almost <laughs> we're almost f like a fifth of the way to our goal, <laughs> and we're not even we're not even just an hour in. All right, cool. Let's take a look at your latest video, Empty. Seventeen hours ago. All right, here we go, guys. <laughs> this is dope, dude, 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 this is perfect for uh, Paper Sheet Soul Company. People will be thinking that. Oh, like were you were you playing Star Citizen last time? Oh, Star Citizen is so good. It's so good, yeah. guys. We don't have any armaments, but we do. <laughs> I know, right? This will be up in the cut. Okay, y'all want to put this? A whole bunch of furies in the. <laughs> <laughs> oh right, follow me, my so gosh! Yeah, here, I'm gonna leave this combat ready. I yeah, love the so color scheme on the channel. I think nice banner. More I appreciate than it, Rick. Fury in this thing. I'm in the back. What do you back, think? Uh, cargo. Yeah, I was gonna say, what do you guys? What do you think? He said he likes the channel. Your channel banner empty and all that stuff. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna bring back up the. You're gonna uh, assume when you elevator? get a couple years ago, mom had cancer. Because this thing could put a tank. You put a tank in here if you wanted to. Ugh. Let's check that out. We we, we won't need one for these missions. Cancer though. impacts True. everyone. But I would just say this the size, the, the, the size itself. Yeah. We can literally Your mic sounds yeah, really crazy, good, man. dude. Let's see what we can put Love in. Love the Star Citizen code at the bottom. It's big. Heck yeah. More than one Fury. Like like four or five or six of them in here. What are we gonna put in here? My color's black? <laughs> nah, it's too It's too uh, oh, yeah, we it's too wide. Yeah. Vehicles. One, two, three. An arrow oh. too, if one all right, so let's get back to the beginning. We had this on here. Can a Fury Variance and Anvil Arrows fit in the bottom of the 890 jump, right? Text is kind of hard to read, but I want to get back to the intro. <laughs> this is dope, dude, man. dude, dude, this is perfect for uh, Paper Sheet Soul Company. People will be thinking that we don't, yeah. we don't have any armaments, but we do. All right, so there's not much of an introduction to this video, right? I had a video that went over 600 views. Yo, empty. This is GG's brother. <laughs> um, guys, everyone who's no, jumping right? in, how's it this going? I'm doing content reviews on your content. We're also doing a charity uh, charity event right now, exclamation charity, if you want to take a look at it. It's for St. Jude. Um, let's end childhood cancer as a, as a, as a community, guys. In the cut. Okay, y'all want to put this? All right, so if I was going to say something, this is your intro, basically, is you putting the text on the screen. One thing, it's kind of hard to read. Um, and I would just go ahead and take this opportunity after you've already done all of this, right? You, you've, now you're going to do an outro that says, I'm not sure whether or not you can fit an anvil arrow. I think you, at the end of your stream, or in the middle of your stream, right? Because it looks like you're live Twitch and Kick and Facebook, right? So I would just go ahead and, as you're streaming and you're talking about kind of fit all of this stuff, either do this or at the end of your stream, after you've ended your stream, hit the record button and record this. Very specific. Ask that question. Can you fit the Mirai Fury or Anvil Arrows inside the 890 jump? In today's video, we're going to blow up several ships in an attempt to see if you can fit these in there. I think you do that temp that at the very front, and you could have recorded that, like I said, post-stream. Yo, <laughs> yo, Adrian Conti dropping a solid, yo, dropping a 15, tying us off to two hundred dollars already guys yo this is crazy lc welcome to chat yo adrian yo guys we're an hour into streaming and we've already raised already raised two hundred dollars for charity this is ridiculous if you don't mind the third video is the one that has small viral moment i'll take a look at it in a second love it love it guys can we get ggs in chat ggs everywhere $200 already raised for St. Jude. Guys, there's no other cause. I mean, there's plenty of causes, but this one, it's so easy to just say, like, let's fight childhood cancer. That's so easy to get on that bandwagon, guys. So easy for us to do that one. Um, but yeah, let's get back to the content here. Um, I think that you need to do this introduction. You need to do it. You, not text. You need to do it. Same thing with this outro. Let's see what your content's like in the middle. Still flying the 890 right now. Oh shit! I'm trying to shove a Hornet in there. He's scared, grab it me. It's landing. Because I move, I, I think you can fit a Hornet in there. It, it, the elevator was going down, so the Hornet kind of glitched. I guess. I'm pretty sure you can fit it in there, and I'm pretty sure you can fit the arrow in there as well. I'm almost see, certain. I'll, here's the arrow. I'm almost certain you can fit the arrow in it. Come on, dude. 
Here's the arrow coming up. Uh, I don't think no, it'll you, fit you, on you, the you, bottom bay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's exactly what I thought Bruh. would happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Mark II. I got you. Okay, okay, okay. That'll be mega. I'm finna don't know 300. Oh, brother, Maverick. Imagine if we actually hit 500 tonight. Just tonight. I think. Brother. Anyway, I think this is crazy right it? here. Uh, um, <laughs> this is a good video. I just think that you can probably do these intros and outros specifically and, and tie them out. That's good. I um, love the fact that you're putting your creator code. That's nice. I'm going to hit like. Yeah, we've already subbed to the channel. Let's take a look at your third video. 597 views. Let's take a look at it. over there, and I'm going to get the, uh, a new scan for my ship. Can Hornet you Mark II variants fit inside of C2 it's Hercules? Come over here. Thank you for the light. Yeah, totally, man. Mia! Welcome to chat. Okay, How are we here. doing? Oh, so Mia, I don't know if you I don't know if you gendered if you gendered or I mean okay, how do you me, answer how, how do you get interviewed? Yeah, so reach out to me on Twitter or on Discord and then I'll connect with you. I've got a bunch I got a list of people already who've already reached out to me. I might make I a blanket my, post my on community ship, posts. Be a priority for a year because of that and membership. I just recall pretty equivalent. That's you crazy, faster. man. You don't have the F7C Hornet here. You have to recall it. You have to pick it up here. No, I retrieved it to fly you get it over priority to for a to year. To yeah, you get priority for a year, Maverick. To, uh, you do that, you get priority. Oh, man. <laughs> How you gendered? That's what he wrote. I'm looking at... I'm streaming both horizontal and vertical tonight, guys. Banjo over on horizontal said, I don't know if you gendered. <laughs> man, let me, let me get naked before Yo, I... Yo, original! Welcome back. Because I'm losing all my shit. Come over here, Locked in, welcome back. Get your armor and stuff. Oh, do you have armor on right now? Yeah, from... I, I never... All right, so everything that I just said to the other video applies to this one. Even though I'm having a conversation with chat, I just wanted to go ahead and say that. Everything I'm saying still applies. You did this introduction can that fit in here into the Hercules. I think this one did well at the very front because you had some really good statements. I think I'm going to go put the skin on it, right? Also, the fact of you putting Hornet Mark II variants and the C2 Hercules. This is stuff that people are probably really curious about. Over here. Like, genuinely. <laughs> no, no gameplay audio. This is a gorgeous just... ship. Also, can I tell you something? Your overlays up here at the top... Where did you get these overlays? Please tell me where you got these overlays. They are banger, brother. They're banger. Star Citizen overlays. No, that's the problem. Absolutely. Where'd you get them, man? I keep forgetting how pretty. I mean, how do you get interviewed? I got you. <laughs> Another Star Citizen video? Yeah, so this is um we're taking a look at Empty Split. Empty Split with Star Citizen. And that way, I'm going to get canceled for my last long form. Dang, bro. Oh, look at this. Look at the... Her this thing is huge. God, the Hercules is massive. I think it'd be bomb to have some... I don't think it'll say. fit. Does it it's blow up? It. Unfortunately, ship, I don't think it'll fit. Let me get closer to the bottom. No, yeah, there's, it it's not going to fit. No, the Hornet will not fit. Long. Childhood but Gold steals that, mom's I, credit I, cards I, I and buys... <laughs> right? You'll have to see it, but mute it, Supposedly, got you. Nerd yes. or die, I modified mine when After Effects and Photoshop empty can i use your content and show it to a couple of my star citizen buddies i'm sure i'm sure they will be able to see that yep even if it's saint jude <laughs> do you have one i'll take a look at no, it I maverick you one. donate you drop so you drop 300 bucks yeah <laughs> brother you get full priority for life <laughs> <laughs> all I right this is a really i mean again the content is really good star citizen is a very dedicated community when it comes to content creators so what i'll say is yes this, you're going to have people jump in because there are people who watch Star Citizen who is very, their hardcore will help this audience grow. It's just what it is. So I like huge continue to do it. Welcome to the Chairman's Club. Um, I mean, good stuff here. Good comments. Thank you for the test. Better question, how many Mark IIs can you fit in? Right? This is this is a video that you should do. And, and like... You know, Storm Cleaver asked me on a video, Ken, how many blah, 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 blah. Let's figure it out. And that's how you do it. Really good, right? I think there's some really good stuff there. I just sent gaming ideas to the suggestion of. Really nice. Just, I think I like what this is doing. So, Empty, you're doing a really good job here, man. Just continue to drive. I would just totally, every time you do this text for intros, when you end your stream, just record that intro. Really nice job. Really nice. I think you put a little bit more in the description for this one. A little bit more. The, the the thumbnails are really nice. I don't think there's anything wrong with the thumbnails. I like 
this thumbnail the most because it's that blue and green against the darker background, really easy to see. This kind of like safety green yellow against white are kind of hard to see. And then same thing for the white over the lighter color in the background, kind of harder to see. You can see how easy this one was to see, right? In comparison to those. I think that's how you can realize the two right there. Pulse, welcome to chat. I'll add you to the list. I'm not using the bot tonight, by the way. All right, Slapshot, you're up next. Empty, can we get GG's in chat for Empty? Slapshot dropped a solid hundo. A hundo for St. Jude, guys. We are raising money for St. Jude, exclamation charity. If you want to go take a look at that and donate. Slapshot, where you at, brother? Where are you at, brother? I'd like a channel review. Conquer, what's up? I got you, I'll, I'll put you on the list. Conquer IT, conquer it. Uh, where are you at, Slapshot? Let me make sure I got the right channel, brother. Is this the right channel, Slap? Yes, no, maybe so. Cross my fingers. Adrian. Adrian, we are we, we are we taking a look at your content? I see the five fine AM8. Yep, it's back there. It's back there. Everything's back there. I'm hooked. I'm hooked. I have two new shorts. Yep, that's it. Alright, let's take a look at it. Slapshot tech. If y'all didn't see this, let's go ahead and take a look. Welcome to Slapshot Tech. We took a look at all this gaming. Yeah, I remember this channel. Eight subs, six videos, 3,000 views. This channel is only like five months old. Whoa, what is that? What is that? Hey, oh, what is this right here? The IX Tech Dynamic Mic. Do y'all see this? I stumbled on your channel before the PDX4 interview. I'm just getting the game. I'm just getting in the game. Give me a month. Got you. Totally, man. Totally. Totally. Hey, when you do, you do hit me up. We're going to take a look at your content. Let me let me help you out. What is this? What is this microphone? Looks like the Blue Sona. I think it does. Like I think the framing of it kind of does look like the Blue Sona, but also reminds me. I just knocked it over, but it reminds me of the AM8 from Five Fine. Not fully, but it looks like it. Did they send it to you, Slapshot? Did they send it to you or did you purchase it? All right, let's take a look at it. I just dropped $36 on this microphone. 36? Introducing the new IX Tech dynamic microphone. This microphone promises to record and stream. Oh! Do y'all hear that voice? I'm going to start this again. I just dropped $36 on this microphone. Introducing the new IX Tech dynamic microphone. This microphone promised... Somebody's been watching Hardwire's reviews. ...just to record and stream with clarity, locking out all that unwanted noise... Harper, what's up? Welcome to chat. ...with its sleek design and dual USB We're and taking XLR a look at your connectivity. Guys content. It provides a plug-and-play setup that's compatible with almost any system. Comes with XLR streaming, cable. Gaming or podcasting, it's a game changer. This microphone comes with a USB C to USB A and XLR cable, and it is also suitable with most mic holders and boom arms as it has a 5 8 screw thread. Its dynamic capsule allows for a richer sound profile and built in voice suppression for that smooth, uninterrupted audio. So, at $36, is this the new budget king? Well, you tell me because you have been listening to it this whole time. Take, take the, and take I still the can't little. believe that. I just dropped 30. Yo, and it's got a loop. Did you hear the loop? I just can't believe that. I just dropped. Oh, it's got a loop on it. The voice is doing things to me. Oh my God. This is clean. Slap shot. Guys, what are y'all thinking? What are y'all thinking? Chat, what do you think? That voice should be doing voiceovers. I agree. Holy God. Oh my God. Sorry, back in 2019, 2020, I made random channels, started editing in 2022. Love making titles or little skits from our VR class. Learned to edit and got into sports. Since I love it, Banjo. Going to 88 subscribers. Oh, that sucks, man. I want to buy this mic now. Is Are we listening to that mic? Is that the mic that we're listening Trouble to? Connecting. I just dropped. Trouble connecting back to that PS5. 
Oh, the SM7B right there. Because yeah, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to set up your PS5 for remote play. We're going to go over to the settings Makes gear. sense on the three frames. I just know a few channels doing it my short speed. I just dropped $36 on this God, microphone. so good. Introducing the new... So Slapshot, you said yes. I asked like 10,000 questions, but is the microphone that we're listening to this the actual IX Tech microphone? IX Tech dynamic microphone. This microphone promises to record and stream with clarity, locking out all that unwanted noise. With its sleek design and dual USB and XLR connectivity, yes, what's it up, provides Q? a plug and play setup that's compatible with almost any system. It's the, that's the microphone at the end of the video, it mentions it. IX Tech. Oh, here it is. Oh, it looks banging in white, guys. Look at this. Look at that. Holy. Capsule's pretty close to the front. I mean, Pew, I think we got a microphone that we should review. I got their low profile boom arm. Nice. I'm, you said 36 bucks. This thing is $89 with a 25% coupon, which would make it 60, about 60 bucks. Because a quarter of 90 is about like 20 something, like 21, something like that. Yo, that is freaking gorgeous look at this thing look at that holy that thing is gorgeous oh, they got the sl40 right there oh it looks so good look at this look at this guys not the short sm7b mic ad <laughs> It's ever like actually game changing. At the time, there was an off deal. Oh, okay, brother. Oh man, I t oh, I want to get one of these. Chat. Should I should I review this microphone? I don't know. I mean, I mean, look at the look at the mic arm. It's the same mic arm. I've got two microphones. I got one from Mayono and one from Five Fine behind me. The same low profile arm. I bet it's I bet it's similar build. Brother. Oh, they got one of the overhead hang ones too? Yeah, I like this right here. Look at this. This is a really cool mic arm. That's pretty sleek. Is that the arm you got? But black? What's the what's a pro? Oh, it just comes with a tablet. Oh, it comes with the extension rod. So basically, Decent Tech is really cheap, and someone who mastered niche can get pro quality. Exactly. I think that it's so honest. Look at the little flip down. That's pretty banging. Uh, I don't think it's worth $74, but I think it's banging. They put a guy on here that kind of looks like Dr. Lupo with blue and purple in the background. That's totally like advertising they just did. They literally grabbed a guy that looks like Dr. Lupo. That's funny. That's totally funny. Um... Wow, that's a bang. The only thing is I can recommend this microphone for $50 to $4 with a mic arm, am t right? Should I get it? I just pulled the trigger and bought it. Chat, should I buy that microphone and review it? The fact that it comes with the XLR cable puts it well above all the other competition. I, I don't, I'm tired of white, of black microphones. I'm being honest. I'm tired of black microphones. If I had the Wave DX in white, I would be really happy. Oh, God, that thing is gorgeous. That's a really good... Th okay, uh, short-wise, I know we were talking about the microphone itself, but short-wise, it got kind of stale right about here. For streaming, gaming, or podcasting, it's a game changer. This microphone comes with a USB-C... I feel like this probably could have been half the length, and it probably would have been just as efficient. Some of what you're about to say could be cut. USB-A and XLR cable. And it is also suitable with most mic holders and boom arms as it has a 5 8 screw thread. Its dynamic capsule allows for a richer... Yeah, I think there's some of this, like this last little part is dynamic capsule. You could just say it's a dynamic mic. I mean, you didn't have to say all that rest of that. You did singing wrong then? I guess so. 
I think that this is really nice. I just think that this last little bit is probably a little slow. Um, but man, also it's just, it's dark. And I think it's the, probably the black mouse pad and everything that's black and the mic is black. It's all just kind of dark. So you either needed to increase the exposure on this, the whole clip itself, or remove that mouse pad so that you have that wood grain behind it for some contrast. So it's not just black on black on black on black on black, if that makes sense. Um, what do you think, guys? Let's see the latest. Kim could do more. Let's talk. Oh, let's do I that again. I just dropped 36. Never thought of it. Kim could do more. Let's dive into the future with Elgato Face Cam Mark II. Right out of the box. It is totally ASMR. The Mark II just isn't any webcam. Capturing in stunning 1080p at 60 frames per second and 720p at 120 frames per second. It's not just the clarity, but the uncompressed low latency video that brings life to your screen. From dimly lit rooms to challenging height. I could fall asleep to that voice. Have y'all seen the TikTok that's been surfacing around with, uh, um, what's his name? Uh, Corpse. The voice with corpse and that girl that does all of the all of the faces of the like the whole clip about corpse. This voice reminds me of that. Contrast settings. It's HDR magic shines, ensuring you're always in the best light. But the magic doesn't end there. Dive deep with DSLR style control from ISO to shutter speed. All right, so this is a really good video. I would just re-record it and go softer. He's whispering all in my ear. I don't want. <laughs> ah, it's so funny. I think that it's you're speaking so fast with a deep voice that there's not enough time for there's space between your words to actually have a connection with what's being said. So what I'm saying is you either need to have more inflection, which means more distance in your actual inflection, which is your pitch going up and down so that we can get what you're saying, or you need to put more pauses so that we can hear where things separate. Because uh, this one's kind of hard. It's kind of monotone. All within the Camera Hub software. Loaded with features like cinematic effects and seamless Stream Deck integration. Base Game Mark II does what others don't. Because good enough is no longer good enough. Yeah, I feel like it's. I feel like it's that way. It's just a little. It's just a little too Gamers. monotone. However, really good piece of hardware. I would make another piece of another piece of tech with it. Looks like you released this three days ago and you have 24 views on it. I would I would make another video of this and re-release it because this is a good piece of tech. Make another video on it and try to try to slow down and, and educators unleash unmatched quality in every frame. Your audience deserves the best. I love the text effect up here. How are you doing the text effect up here, Slap? Ready to the unboxing, everything is fine. I would almost just tell you don't just re-record the voiceover. Everything else is probably fine, but just re-record the voiceover. Like the actual B-roll and everything is really nice. It's made good enough at the end of the past. Never thought of what Kim could do. It's so good. I was editing out the pauses. I'm a heavy breather. Cap cut. Got you. Yeah, editing out the pauses is one thing, but if you like sh like shove it all together, then it's not conversational at all, and people aren't going to make the connection. So either, either say everything when you're reading the lines – Say the line and put a pause. So in post, when you're editing your voiceover, you can connect them and leave enough space in between where you need to be, right? You can also just cut out the the pause or cut out the breath and still leave the space so that there isn't anything there. You could try that. I'll never forget the baby got back voice in the five font audio. <laughs> I know, right? My anaconda don't want none. <laughs> My anaconda don't want none unless you got Ow. <laughs> <laughs> you mute the breathing and then keep the space exactly empty that's exactly right that's what i was saying do you love god i don't get into politics or anything like that on stream guys not what i do i don't know the voice is so deep it feels a bit too bassy maybe eq it a bit so like editing out the pauses yeah i think you probably could have added some of the brought up some of the highs like the actual like low pass that's up at the very top. I feel like you could have done a shelf and added a shelf at the top. Writing script and listening to advice, multitasking. Love it. Love it, Mia. Listen, multitasking is how we accomplish lives. I put you in my videos doing that. <laughs> I love it. I love it. There's a way to make engaging content without constantly talking. It's a delicate balance, though. I mentioned this the other day, right? Here's the thing. If I'm having a big conversation with you and we're sitting here and we're having this conversation and I'm telling you some really awesome things that you need to be able to hear and all of a sudden 
there's silence. I bet you the moment that I stopped talking right there, something in your mind went, ooh, that was different. That was different. I should probably listen to what's about to be said, right? Silence is also somewhat as powerful as the sound that's around it. So and we use this in music all the time. I mean, think about bass drops. Da 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 boom, right? That that sets the tone, the tension, because people feel like silence is awkward. So the moment that it occurs, it's like it puts people on edge. So don't feel like you have to remove all silence because silence is a natural part of what we do, right? I will do like and yeah, but don't do the and because don't fill the dead space. Just let there be my cat felt that awkwardness. <laughs> Can you get your own voice on the Fi Fine mixer like female? I probably could. Using you, you used correctly. That's a teacher trick when the kids aren't paying attention. Exactly. That's exactly where I learned it was when I was a teacher. I would literally be like, everything would happen and the somebody's not doing something, I would just stop and just that was it. That's all I would do. And they would just be like, what is life? What is happening? <laughs> I'd freak out. Literally had her popped up from a nap. Oh, I'm so sorry. She's going to sleep to my voice. That's what it is. That's what it is. All right. Slap shot. Guys, can we get a GG's for slap shot for his content and GG's for the hundred dollar dono? Oh my God. Just as a reminder up top, guys, we are doing some reminding some stuff for charity, exclamation charity. We're raising money for St. Jude. Uh, and just because if you just jumped in, I'll just go ahead and tell you last week, um, our really good friend, her daughter, who is eight months old, was diagnosed with uh, with liver cancer. Um, she's going through undergoing chemotherapy now and next week. And the best way that I know that I can help I can't be there. I can't be in the room. I can't do things like that. But what I know I can do is what we do as a community all the time is raise money for St. Jude, who does all of the research to be able to fight and tackle childhood cancer and provide care for them. So um, even though they're not at St. Jude, I think they even had a referral to St. Jude that might have to go through. I don't, I don't know all that. This is all really recent. I mean, we're talking about less than a week into this now. So anyway, thoughts and prayers for them. I'm not going to tell you the name because I've, I've, I haven't have asked them if I could say the name or anything like that. Just telling you that I have someone in my, my life that is going through this and I'm just doing the best I can. And what I can do is provide uh, my platform to help allow you to be able to give back uh, to the people who are doing the research so that we can get rid of childhood cancer. Cancer is stupid and it's, it has affected us all. Let's, let's fight to make it go away. If you want to donate, awesome. Every time, baby, girl, how's it going? She leaves me next to my keyboard when I game into the desk. She's the best. I love it so much. Appreciate it. Literally, your head popped up from her nap. Daddy Hardwire, GG's, Greggy, what's up? Welcome to chat. The Nola Grind, great advice here. Thanks. Nola, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, love my hard Hardwired is so amazing. Good chat. How many of you got in the queue right now? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, we're gonna go kind of quick. Banjo or banjo, if banjo's here, we've got banjo, catastrophe, Rick, one ball, cane, lion, not having milk, dark, Grethko, uh, Mark's world, TL Maverick, Wody Mac, DS Pulse, Conquer IT. That is the queue right now. We're not doing the bot um, because I'm trying to find a new, um, a new way to do things. So we're just doing it old fashioned today and just doing it uh, off of a list. This is actually how we did our first two or three was off of this list. So kind of pulling back great channel names, right? Love it, love it, love it. Best wishes out to whoever it is. I really hope they can get better. Me too. I think she's going to going her second round of chemo this week. And if it shrinks, they can go in, they're going to go into surgery and remove it um, and cut it out. If it doesn't shrink, she'll do two more treatments and then they're going to cut it out anyway. Um, but the benefit is it's the liver, and the liver regenerates and grows back. So that is a good thing of – it's a good thing of a bad thing, if that makes sense. Oh, so I can show you my comments. Hardwired is cracked. All right, Banjo, are you here? Banjo, are you here? If Banjo's not here, we're going to move on. I'll move him to the bottom of the list so we can catch him later. 
It would be catastrophe after that. Catastrophe, are you here? Rick won. I just saw Rick won. Banjo, are you here? If not, we'll move on. Banjo, I think, was in short form chat. Pretty sure they were in short form chat. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I just want to take a look at your content. Three, two, one. All right, Banjo, I'm moving you to the bottom of the list. I'm not deleting you. I'm just moving you. All right, Catastrophe, are you here? This was XX Catastrophe. They were here at the very beginning of the stream. I think they were horizontal. XX Catastrophe, if they're not Rick1, we're going to be going with you. I'm going to go ahead and open your channel. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to go with you anyway. How is this? Oh, I love it so much already. All right. Um, Catastrophe, I'm going to move you to the bottom of the list. If y'all come back, we'll go in there. All right. Rick1, are we ready? Chat. One's in chat. If you're ready to get going, let's keep going. Let's keep going on this content review, guys. $200 raised out of 500 for charity tonight, guys. This is this is nuts. Um, if you if you're gonna like do a membership or whatever, anything like that, before you do any of that, go give the money to St. Jude. I think that's more important. I really do. I think that's a whole heck of a lot more important, guys. Ready, ready, ready. Let's do it, guys. One one out of six. Thank you, Pew. Gosh, you're like a turd. Hardwired. Can I just tell you how talented you are, brother? <laughs> All right, let's take a look at your chat, Rick. I don't know if we, have we looked at your chat. I don't think we have. The best YouTube channel source for viral media, pro basketball, college basketball and football, boxing and entertainment world news. Please contact me with any sponsorships, promos, and affiliate opportunities. Best one is sports commentary, email, Instagram. Cool. Awesome. Uh, 22.1K subscribers, 1,000 videos, 20 million views. That is absolutely nuts, man. GG's in chat for Rick. This is, this is amazing, dude channel is nine years old that is really awesome jinxy oh i love jinxy um cool you got a podcast love the banner at the top i love this color uh let's take a look at some of the content what do you what specifically do you want me to take a look at and also in that same case is there anything copyright that i'll be running into that i need to be worried about looks like we've got some shorts Looks like we've done some lives, streamed eight days ago. Looks like we're doing some vertical lives. We've got nine podcast episodes. And 13, 13 hours ago, we're using our community tab. Nice. I'm loving it. I'm loving it, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Loving it. Rick, how do you feel about Jake Paul? Right answer gets a follow. <laughs> oh, I think Jake Paul's going into a fight, isn't he? 20 mil views is absurd. That is crazy, man. Had to delete that two-year-old watch with the grandma's phone. All right, look, we'll be taking a look at. What's the first one? What's, what do you want me to take a look at here, brother? Rick, you want me to take a look at content? You want me to take a look at shorts? What do you want me to look at? Streams! Welcome to chat. How's it going, streams? By the way, we're live on horizontal and vertical tonight, guys. Horizontal and vertical. Um, really excited to... I literally set up the vertical chat as we were here. <laughs> He about to get his ear bit off. Oh, he probably about to get it. He's, that's right. He is fighting Mike Tyson, right? He's going to go fight Mike Tyson. Kobe. All right, let's do the latest one. Well, I hope mommy and daddy is very proud. You know Kobe wouldn't have wanted you to sell that memorabilia. But for a record-breaking price, oh my. That's the mama mentality, <laughs> baby. Welcome back to the Rip One Ball podcast. And if you're new here. Copyright in the Kobe interview. All right. Consider I'll subscribing be down below. We make Thank premium you. content in the world of sports and entertainment. Now back to the show. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, Kobe Bryant's 2000 NBA championship ring just went up for auction and sold for a record breaking. Well, I I'll get to that price in a minute. But I got to tell you, back in 2013. Guys, as always, make sure you're commenting down below what your thoughts are. When the Bryants initially tried to sell some of his merchandise and he went flaming off, I didn't think it was going to happen again because his family and fans knew how important that merchandise was to him. But they tried it again. I'm very I muted the uh, copyright here. Right. 
And what I was trying to find out is why did the Bryants not like Vanessa and why did Vanessa not like the Bryants? And what I came up with is that initially the Bryants tried to influence Kobe to sign a prenuptial agreement prior to marrying Vanessa. They didn't really believe in her. They didn't like the characteristics that she brought in. And they knew their son was a multimillionaire mega meal ticket. So I can't, I can't blame them for wanting to look out for their son. But naturally, Vanessa wasn't going to like that. And as the years progressed, Kobe was sending money to his parents and looking out for him that way. And, you know, Vanessa really didn't want any parts of that. And it all came to a head when Kobe admitted that he hadn't seen or spoken to his parents in about three years. So you do realize you have grandparents on both sides, right? Now, it's been on the record that Vanessa had some quote-unquote disagreements with her mother, but she didn't treat her like this. Guys, what That's do you thought? That's the grandparent on that side. Green screen is got clean. got grandparents on that side. That is a Let nice start, see their Mia. grandparents now. I'll be clear to Vanessa and anybody else to hop in Love my comment drop. section. I'm not counting nobody's pockets. But Kobe got so much money back on his return from body armor as well as his NBA salary and all type of endorsement deals. It was nothing to Vanessa to give the people one or two million dollars. And it didn't have to come to this. But that price of that damn ring, oh my God. And now the time <laughs> has come for the price of this record-breaking ring. Bob, tell the people what they won. Honey cow! <laughs> <laughs> Certainly got oh, me I'm paying sorry, attention. Wrong show. Get on drum roll, please. The this man just said ghetto drum roll, please, and beat his table. L listen. Ghetto drum roll, please. This man just beat his table and said ghetto drum roll. Yo, this bro just beat his table. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> mm. The ring sold for almost $1 million at auction today. Congratulations to Pam and Joe Bryant. You guys are getting almost $1 million, and I'm not sure if that's even going to be at a cover, you guys' lifestyle. So enjoy that $1 million. If you got any extra, send me some. You know you got to get a <laughs> gunshot to his eye wing. You caught up on everything in the world of sports and entertainment anyway. And if you want the next video, click this one right here. All right. There's a lot of stuff well, I want to break down in this video. But what I want to say first, just solid content, guys. Solid content. Solid. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's, let's break down some of this for a second. Okay, number one, uh, the pacing in the video is really nice. You know, you set the stage of what's occurring. You do a really good job at storytelling, which I think probably will, will it'll be a common theme throughout your content. I want to watch one more video. But I think this is a common theme throughout your video, but also think this is a really good opportunity for me to use you as a teaching tool, if that makes sense. And also, by the way, Rick, anything that I say, if you want to jump in and kind of add some thoughts, I'm going to ask you a question. If you'll answer it in chat, I'll read chat so that horizontal and vertical can see it. Here's my question. Do you script any of your videos ahead of time? How do you go about taking the content that you're going to record? Do you script it? Do you write it down? Is it just one of those things that you're winging it based on the experience and the knowledge that you have? How do you go about framing your content and how do you plan it ahead of time? What do you do? I want to be able to read that to chat. If you don't mind, Rick, um, that would be great. Thank you so much. Um, but here's here's what I want to, to be able to say. First of all, the, the, the pacing of what he's doing, he took the opportunity, talked about the, the ring and how it'll set up, set the controversy, and from a story, uh, from a story perspective, there's three acts. There's setting the stage and setting the scene and then and then posting the stakes and then there's the second part of it which is the main controversial opportunity where things are going to take a turn this is where you get the conflict opportunity and the second stage or act of when it comes to telling a story usually comes to a head and this is usually your longer part of your story will end at somewhere near the climax or just after the climax, which is about the highest point of your story. And when he, when that occurs, you go into the last part of your story, which is going to be the resolution part of it, where you're able to see the outcome of what happened in the climaxed area of your story. In this case, 
selling the ring, setting it up, talking about Kobe, going through everything that's occurring in their lives, going all the way up to talking about what's happening from a prenup to the money to him getting all of this money. And then the final solution climax is they're able to still get some kind of a solution, which is selling the ring and getting some profit in the end, right? It was just a really good way to to shift that story and to set it up well and to do it in such a short amount of time. It's really, really nice. And I love how you've, you've taken the time to do that. A lot of people have really natural opportunities when they do this. So I think that you're either a really good natural at it or you're really good at planning it ahead of time. Um, Dakota says, play it's false information. Kobe's parents didn't cash in, but the video is clean. What do you think about that, Rick? I'm not the person making the vid content. I'm just reacting to the content. Dakota says, Rick, Dakota says, it's false information. Kobe's parents didn't cash in, uh, but the video is clean. Just curious. Yo, Pops. Pops can see my comments. I can see your stuff. Fishing! Outdoor fishing. Welcome to chat, brother. How's it going? How you doing, man? Can you add me to the queue? I got you. What's up, Hardwire? I got you, brother. I put you in. So uh, that's one thing that's going really well. The next thing is your appearance and your energy on camera is infectious. Is in, You just tell me, Haunted. It is infectious. Not only are you high energy, but you're, you've got this charisma about you, but you also have this opportunity that you're really inviting when it comes to the content, right? And what I mean by that is if you look here, you're leaning forward in the chair, you're doing forward gestures. You're not closing your hands or, co or collapsing the body. And from a psychology point, that's a really good thing to be able to say, like, you know, I'm I'm open to having good conversations, etc. Rick, Dakota, Dakota over on shorts on my vertical side. Rick said, thank you so much. He said, that's incorrect, Dakota. It just sold two days ago. Um, Yeah, so that's, that's kind of crazy. So... Um, that's also really good that you're doing this. The background's really nice. The green screen, Pew is a fellow creator in the tech space. Pew said that your green screen looks awesome. I agree, it looks awesome. I think you could increase the key spill, which is one of the things that you have a slider for in OBS. It's called a key spill reduction. Maybe you wanna increase it just a touch because it's it's still on your face right here on the side. That's where it removes some of the green, kinda, kinda chops off the inside of your face a little bit. Remove a little bit of that green my big worry about you is this Yeti blue or this Yeti mic that you have. You're speaking directly into the sensor, but there's nothing preventing the plosives. The Peter picked a uh, pick Peter picked a peck of pickled peppers, the pop 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 right into the sensor. You're getting that throughout your intro. Listen. You know Kobe wouldn't have wanted you to sell that memorabilia, but for a record breaking price. The, um, every time you do the breaking price, ba ba you're like straight into the thing and this this wind sensor that's on or wind reduction wind thing that's on the Yeti is not that good. So maybe either either pick up a one that sits on top that just, you know, it's just a little wind muff that'll sit on top of the Yeti so it'll stop some of those plosives to just get a little bit cleaner of voice or get you a um, pop filter that'll sit in front of it and kind of help it as well. I think that that's a really good, have a good night, Conquer. Yeah, I've got you on here. Um, next time we'll be doing one, mm, maybe, maybe Friday. I'm not going to commit to one just yet, but I think a uh, pop filter will really help you out here. Really good, really good outro. Hey, you should check out this video pointing up there. Really good. Thumbnails are nice. Titles are nice. It's obviously showing really well, um, what you're doing. I would probably frame you up center in the screen, but you're also on a third on one of the rules of thirds. So I don't know if I would say anything negative about that. Okay, I'd like you to join Haunted. I'll add you in. Mia says, by the way, did you end up watching my little intermission thing? Uh, did I? Did I? Was it last time you were here? Haunted, I got you on the list. Was it last time you were here? Correct me if I'm wrong. Yo, I hit. Yo, fire! 3K! GG's, brother! I'm hitting the wrong button, by the way. Congratulations on 3K. Need to buy the audio crap for my controller? Yeah, totally. Uh, Rick, key spill, definitely need to look into that. Yeah, totally. I'll go buy a wind muff immediately. Yeah, and you can get them. I'm pretty sure. Let me see if they have them for the Logitech. Um, wind. Let me just say wind screen Logitech mic. Maybe they just have one. Not Logitech mic. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, here we go. Will this fit on the blue Yeti? Yeah, so what you can see is it just, you can see it just goes on the top right there, and that'll help the plosives. It'll just sit right on top. Um, and this one's like eight bucks or something like that here. I'll even put an affiliate link so you can go support the channel. Watch this. Boom. Anyway, uh, really nice job on this. Just really solid. I'm going to subscribe because I'm curious. Um, thumbnails are nice. Obviously, controversy. Yellow text is always a positive. Um, you've had some videos that are popping off. It's really nice. I love, I love, I wouldn't even call you a drama channel necessarily. Oh, by the way, he said earlier, he said by earlier, he said, um, Rick says, uh, what do you say? No scripts whatsoever, completely winging it. So this is just knowledge that he's gained and he's just getting in front of the camera and saying how he feels. So no scripts. He's just winging it for 20 million views, guys. My guy, not trying to get them back and forth, but Kobe's parents sold the ring in 2013. The sales for almost $1 million was by someone else. That's what Dakota said. Rick, that's what Rick said. Rick, that's what he said. Dakota, we're in the wrong chat here, brother. He's ever on the horizontal if you want to talk to him directly, but all good. I'm, I'm not connected to the whole mess, so I have no clue what is right or wrong. We'll just, we'll just let that be what it is. Let's look at a short. Let's look at your latest short right here. This is senior citizen abuse. All right. You don't care if you... Number, for, number one, obviously your, your shorts are popping off really good, but millennial pause. <laughs> no, please don't. Shot, shot, shot. This, this is senior... Millennial pause. Do y'all see the millennial pause, guys? It's the interwebs. It's true. <laughs> this is... This is senior citizen abuse. Make you don't care right if your kids you have grandparents? About. Why are you starving out Kobe's folks? You can't be mad at the parents on this one. They broke. They got no money. You <laughs> can't be mad because you're, they're selling the rings. Kobe almost sued his parents in 2013 for trying to sell his stuff, but you don't care. But your mama good. Got her sitting courtside eating chicken. Umar was right about you. Is Vanessa Bryant using any of that black man's money to do any good in the black community? Let me ask you Absolutely a question. Absolutely not. We don't know Vanessa that. Bryant. Listen, don't know. I'm telling that? you. Know you Vanessa know? Bryant. You know? I do know what I'm This is senior citizen. Brother. Yeah, I'm getting requests. Yeah, Zebulon. I'll, I'll add you in if you want to be jumped in. Anybody who is a member already jumps to the front of the pack. Uh, above some guys. Also, if you donate to the charity, you can jump you up to the front of the pack, guys. Guys, this is just good content. And I think it's I think you're doing it really well because it's dealing with what people want to know. Right? And when I say what what people want to know, it's people who are connected to this kind of content, you know, NBA, you know, anything that's specific with this. This is content they want. This is and I think this is specifically what you're gonna see. This is I don't think it's this. I'm just going to point it to pay attention. Purple text. There was a couple of your videos that had purple text that didn't have as many views or purple in the background as the yellow. Maybe you need to stick to yellow, brother. This is just my thoughts. Maybe you stick to yellow, Rick. Cherry nines in the banner photo. Ah, it's the interwebs chewing my mouth trying to taste Kool-Aid. Oh, my God. Ew, that's awful. That's actually gross, Maverick. All right, cool. Hey, Rick, congratulations on all your success on your channel. Regardless of whether people disagree with you or agree with you, that's just more content and engagement for you. Love it so much. Rick, congratulations on all the growth that you've had on your channel. 20 million views. That's nuts, man. One day, I'm at 3.5 mil, hopefully. No, it's for football and it's healthy. I got you, 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 I got you. All right, let's go. Next up, I would donate, but my cards got locked. Oh, my God, that's awful. Zebulon. Uh, Zebulon is a member who is on this thing. This not, this not this blood, not too late. <laughs> Zebulon Pottery has been with us for a long time on these streams. When I say a long time, I mean a little over a month. We've been doing these streams not too long. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. So I was about to say, did you just post this and get 29,000 views off of this? Brother. All right, so Zebulon is a member, so he gets priority access. So we're going to take a look at his views. Look at this, guys. Leo Zebulon, latest video, pottery, pottery relaxation, 30 minutes of pure ASMR, 506 videos, ASMR throwing guy. What's up, Chromare? How's it going? Welcome to chat. Uh, just a tat tiny bit in the preview. I'm already into this. 
Just from that tiny bit of the preview, I'm already into this. Yeah, me too. Me too. I'm about to see it. All right, Zebulon, let's try it. Let's see what happens. How to mix the glaze buckets. This is, oh, this is stuff that you were talking about at your, like, should I post this video? This is stuff that we do at our stuff, right? I got you. I got you. That's what this content probably was. Let's listen to this. Ready for some ASMR, guys? Another thing I fall asleep to, Mia. <laughs> Is there music? I heard. I thought I heard music a second ago. Mia, stay awake. The amount of cuts with. Let me just tell you, this is really good editing. Zebulon, the two separate angles, the two separate angles, and you actually taking the time, brother. This is good content so far, man. The zooming in. I love the fact that you've had your ring tattooed so you don't have to have it on while you're actually doing pottery. I don't know why I just even thought of that, but that's so good. Look at this. We should review Jinxie. No. Oh my god. Multiple angles of stuff like this is so refreshing. I agree. Keeps you inter in entertained. But also, I'll tell you, can I tell you what I'm really thinking in my mind? I've seen the people who fail at pottery, and they just get mad and, like, smash their hands, right? And they just get all pissed off, or they, like, take the little cutter and cut it. Is it bad that my mind, in my mind, I know that he's so talented he's not going to do that? But it, there's something in me I'm just like, poke your finger through it. Is that, like, horrible of me? I cannot be the only person. What's up, brother? I cannot be the only person who's thinking that. Am I? Please, just don't tell me I'm, like, the worst person in the world for thinking that. Don't tell me I'm the only person in the world who's thinking, like, ruin it, ruin it. <laughs> That's not what I'm meaning, but guys, come on. I feel the same way, bro. Seems like a lot of fun. You aren't alone. <laughs> I'm just in my mind. Oh, I love the cuts. Zebulon, this is so clean. And it's just the pottery wheel, the water. What's up, brother? What's up, brother? <laughs> oh, man. I love, I love Sketch. Sketch and Jinxie are top tier content now. Too much perfection. Uh, it's so good. I thought it too. <laughs> I was about to say, it can't just be me. It can't just be me. Oh, man. God, it's so satisfying. Yeah, this is the thing. The thing where you're cutting it to get it off of the bed. This is the thing where people like cut, go halfway and they like cut it up. Oh, what are you going to do now? What are you going to do now with it? Yo, that was so... He took no time. No time. To do... Chat. He took no time to do that. That is pure talent. Pure, uh, by the way, we're four minutes into this video, and I just want to see him make the next one. Like, I know he's about to drop another thing of clay. Come on. He's going to grab another piece of clay. Stands up. Come on, grab another piece. These are a setup for a start to a finish videos also. I should be able to get 12 videos out of this gameplay. I love that. Zebulon, this is clean, man. 
clean. I, I don't like the long pause here until you actually get to the next part. So maybe maybe you trim it and cut and do a little transition piece. Right? Is it also the fact that I just had a really horrible thought of like, please don't fart? Oh, the multiple, you know, I'm going to be honest. You know what this just reminded me of? He made that cut to that hand. I immediately thought of Bob Ross. That is something. That is something. It it's totally just made me think of Bob Ross. And that is, that should be like a huge compliment. Think about that for a second. That should be a huge compliment. Oh. This is so good. I think some like serene East Asian music would work really well. Like Eastern Asian inspired music while you're doing this, some really calming music. And I'm not talking about like lo-fi. I'm talking about like really like just relaxed Eastern Asian inspired music while you're doing this would just be top notch. Let's mold a happy little pot. Just <laughs> won't he Mac? It's your boy Huncho. What's up? Welcome to chat. It's one shot mirrored. Is overhead shot mirrored? I don't know. Is it? Is it mirrored? I have. I have I'm gonna be honest. I've been paying attention so much, but I haven't. I haven't paid that much attention. Is it mirrored? Right now. Right now, the paint buckets are on his where it, the this would be on his right knee, right? This would be on his right knee. So when it goes back to overhead, would, are you saying they're over here on his left knee? Is that what you're saying? Now I'm paying attention. Now I'm paying really, really attention. Enough to where it's drowning out the other sounds too? Yeah, totally, because I like the pottery stuff. It is mirrored. So before your little paint, your paint stuff, uh, buckets were over on the right knee, right? But it's over here on your left knee. Huh. Yeah, maybe I would flip the overhead. Or one of, yeah, I would flip the overhead to match the, the, B, the B angle, because this is what I would consider your A angle. I would flip this horizontal. So this was on the other side. So that there's continuity. I would have never paid it attention. Then again, I didn't pay it attention, right? You can see how it's on your right knee here, and then it's on your left knee. I had to phone set up, so that's a good spot. Yeah, I like the spot, but in the editor, you can always flip it backwards. I had two phone sets up. That's good. Yeah, I think that that's yeah, a really it is. A, I think it's a good call out. Sever, look at the pull, bro. Yeah, I do think it's mirrored, though. I would flip this one backwards. Not flip the camera. You can, uh, in post, you can actually flip the video horizontal. Um, and it, it'll it'll put it on the other side. That's the best way to do that. I'm not going to watch the whole thing, but I kind of want to see... I want to see this thing. Oh, I could watch this forever. Did you check out the use of the slab? Would you check out how to use a slab roller? It ain't me. See, even they paid attention to it. I always wanted to get my wedding band tattooed as well, but just haven't had the time. That's so good. I love that. It is on the other side. $80 begrudgingly. <laughs> Somebody just asked a question. Uh, is your boy Honcho says, is it possible to use your iPhone as a camera for your Twitch stream through your console with Lightstream? Mm, no, but you can connect your phone through streaming on Lightstream if you, you if you connect the phone to the computer, and then you can add it as a, as a camera on your computer. So yes, you can, but not on your console. You would have to add it on Lightstream, the actual web browser. And so there's pro there's programs like Epoch Cam, uh, Prism has a Prism uh, Lens app that work. They're both free. Epoch Cam and Prism Lens are free. Um, and then you can just like connect it by USB. Camo is the one I would actually really recommend. Is Camo Camo Studio, 
Um, you connect it by USB or Wi-Fi to your computer, and then you can add it as a camera inside Lightstream. Zebulon, that is so good. How do you use? Oh, you just posted this four oh, minutes ago. All right, here we go, brother. We just we just posted this video. Why am I not subscribed? Am I not subscribed on this channel? I'm gonna go over how to use the slab roller, best practices, and things that are gonna help you so that your project does not warp. That includes warping when it dries and. Pew, you can use your phone as a webcam on console. How? Connecting it direct. Do you have a video pew? If so, post it in the chat. How's it going, guys? It's John with Zebulon Pottery. I'm going to go over how to use the slab roller, best practices, and things that are going to help you so that your project does not warp. That includes warping when it dries and warping in the kiln. First things first, when we roll out clay, we want to be nice and even with that clay. I like to work anywhere from 3 8 to half an inch thickness and I'm going to talk about reasons why you might want to end up with a little bit of a thicker slab. When it comes to rolling the clay through the slab roller, keep the clay in between the two sheets. Adrian, I'll, I'll answer that in a second. Right dead set in that's a good question. And that's side to side, front and back. I'm going to take this clay, put it in between the sheets, and then I'm going to roll it down. So the way you're going to measure thickness is the ruler is on the back side of the slab roller. Yes, Mia, it's and fine. And ideal is about it's not gonna half hurt you an or anything. inch to three eighths thickness in clay. To adjust the roller height, you're gonna spin the top roller. And I always think it's best to go down an eighth of an inch at a time, which is gonna be about a spin and a half. Okay, you have listened, Zebulon. You have listened. Okay, I, I remember when we first did this, I said, show don't tell and when you were telling talking about let's go down just an eighth of an inch you actually taking the time you've done this twice now where right here you did a show don't tell right you're talking about something the little pot like like a warping on the table was a show don't tell that's so good i'm waiting on an adapter for my mic adult is it pain for me at the moment yeah Aud yeah i get you man yeah, so I'm, I wasn't even going to mention the microphone because I figured that was something you were working on. But what I am happy about is this this show don't tell. You're doing so good. Two spins. Every time you're saying something, guys, what I mean by that is every time you're saying something, if you can show what you're talking about, do it. Every time. Down on the clay. I get it to where it just barely touches. And then the roller, you want it to go in the direction you want it to go. So if I wanted to go this way, I'm going to spin it that way. I want to come back. I want to spin it back towards me. You go down. Yeah, I don't even do pottery either. Zebulon actually actually um, offered to have me come up. He's only like maybe four hours away, I think, um, to come up and actually do a pottery class with him. I'm really excited about that. Um, hopefully, I can get some time over the summer to come up. And uh, and I'll bring my wife, and we can come and sit down, do some content, and collaborate. I think that'd be really nice. About a spin and a half, and then you roll straight through. Other best practices: you want to be smooth with the roller. Don't inch your way through like this. It definitely shows up on that clay. You want to be nice. And smooth. Also, showing the mistakes that occur huge when it comes smooth to things like this. First. Say I needed the clay to be at least a foot. I would title how to use a slab roller. I might would say how um, pottery is your pottery warping. Um, no, maybe how to use a slab roller to prevent warping on pottery or, or something like that. I would add the the intended outcome to that title. I can put my ruler down. I say, well, I've got enough width. Now I'm trying to get my length. And because I'm rolling this down an eighth of inch at a time, I really don't need to flip the clay like a pancake. I don't have to flip it over. I'll That's so good. I don't have to flip it like a pancake. All I'm gonna do so good. Thumbnail no work in progress. I got you. Rotate 90 degrees. That way, now when it starts to roll, I'm going to start getting length out of the clay. It's so good how you described that. That was a very teacher-esque description. Really nice, especially as someone who's trying to do a description on how something works, a tutorial. You did a really good job. So doing once that. we've got our project rollout to the thickness that we're looking for, there's a couple different ways of flipping it. He must uh, be northeast. The major thing you want to be concerned about is accidentally 
bending. What state you out of again? I'm in South Carolina. Project kind of like a taco. It can remember how you treated it and warp in the kiln. Do you like using vidIQ for titles? Yes and no. I don't think it's perfect. I use it for suggestions. Give it a gentle fold. My project is right about here, maybe about an inch below where that fold is, and then I'm just going to be smooth about it. And that is going to do pretty well for me. See, it's so good how you're explaining exactly what to do. I'm going to go a little further in the video, and we're going to find towards the end some more show don't tells. Or it's going to warp in the count. And also, how are you, Jordan? Jordan, I'm doing really good. How about you, Jordan? Through. We're raising so, money for charity, by the way. Y'all, y'all, everyone, just jumping in! Exclamation charity! We're trying to hit 500 bucks. Um, we have already hit 200 dollars in the first hour of streaming. We hit 200 dollars, guys. Raising money for St. Jude. We're trying to get, trying to end childhood cancer by supporting their research. But the truth is, um, no, I've got someone who close, who's close to me. Uh, their daughter um, just got just got diagnosed with cancer. She's eight months old, and she just got diagnosed with liver cancer. And the best thing I can do with my platform and what I'm doing is to be able to do the best I can to support the opportunities that cancer research can do so that this doesn't happen and so that we can continue to provide help uh, for the that situation. So terrible. If you want to donate, that would be huge. Exclamation Charity will give you the link or click the, the pinned ones at the top. Um, and then if you want to be able to give, that would be amazing. If you want to give, I'll put you to the top of the list for reviews. But you can see how that looks. That doesn't look great Oof. at all. And Zebulon, this is solid. This is so hard to work with. Now, there are certain things where like this might be useful, but if it's a general purpose item, cups, bowls, something functional. Kind of hard to hear the mic from there. To ask and we love In all honesty, Zebulon, I would, if I was to rate this video, this is a solid B+. And I think what's really holding you back is your microphone and having something that's clipped onto you because of how much you move, right? Um, I think that would be so huge. But honestly, I think that you did a really good job walking through this. I'm not worried about the video quality because if we can fix the audio quality, man, your content's going to pop, brother. But even before that, I think that you're doing a really good job walking them through step by step of exactly how it's working. And I think maybe you also need to be posting your videos not only on YouTube, but also on Facebook. I think you should probably start posting them on like horizontals for Facebook. I think it would be really important. Probably a lot of people who would interact with the content over there just because of the user base would be really nice. I think you should still post here. I'm just saying that you should also post over there. Awesome. Love this video. Great tutorial. Look at that. All right, so seriously, great job on this. Zebulon, really nice job. He is the hefty Bob Ross, the beard of poet pottery. Listen, I don't even care. Listen, I'm a, I'm a hefty guy. I'm not pointing that out. What I'm saying is it, I, ha, I feel like every time we watch a Zebulon pottery video, I learn something, and that's huge. You should come to Idaho. I should, totally should. Um, stay consistent. I think he's going to go somewhere. Chromier, I totally agree with you. 100%. Zebulon, GG's in chat. I'm loving your content that you're doing. The ASMR stuff is really nice, and I'm loving what you're doing with this too, man. Congratulations. Congratulations. Does the AI coach in vidIQ show up with the YouTube Premium, or is that a browser extension? So I have, or if you're talking about all this other stuff, that's a browser extension for YouTube. Um, that's all the vidIQ stuff. I actually pay for vidIQ, the, uh, the second to highest plan on vidIQ. And it's all so I can get the chat GPT powered person that sees all my analytics. It's the only reason I, I really use it and to like peek at other creators to see how they're doing. Um, anyway, so but I love vidIQ, uh, but I don't use it for like everything because I, I think there's some things that it's just AI and AI doesn't know everything. So be careful about that. That's the shape of North Carolina, right? Yep. Zebulon Pottery, if you want to go check them out. Uh, it's at Zebulon Pottery, but if you want to go and do any of his pottery stuff, classes, anything like that, he is located in uh, in North Carolina. He's got a website, ZebulonPottery.com. Go give him some support as a small business, and uh, I love you, dude. You're doing awesome. Congratulations, man. Honestly, congratulations. You're doing really, really awesome. I already subbed. Love it. Yeah, great job. All right, cool. Zebulon, good job. Kane Lion. Kane Lion. It's Kane Lion in the house. My father's in Hickory. Oh, Hickory's not too far from me either. So I got a reason to visit. Yeah, Zebulon, this is he's he was in really early on. He was one of the first members of the channel. 
one of the first members of the channel. So, um, Kane Lion. I searched your regular channel. Kane Lion. Is this you? Oh, yeah. We've looked at you. Yeah. Oh, man. I said your content was fire, brother. I remember your channel. Where's my where's my water? Let me step out. My water is outside on the counter. Give me a second. I left my water bottle just like <clears throat> out there on the shelf. Counter thing. All right, cool. Man, I love it. He's gone. I have the power. Pew, you don't have the power. I'm back. All right, let's 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 talk about this. Um, Kane, 505 subscribers. Can you remember, Kane, how, where were you at when we first took a look at your channel? Two and a half hours from North Carolina? That's not bad, man. I am, from where I am in SC, I'm only like 20, 30. Shut down, Pew. Ha, ha, ha. Remember to hit like on the videos. Yeah, guys, thank you so much. If you could support the channel, that would be huge. Like it, uh, share all the normal YouTube stuff to make it look awesome. Can you could watch one of my truck races? Let me just come straight to Idaho and do that. Is there a clickable link to donate? I'm struggling to find it. Yeah, so it's because you're on shorts. Um, it's just because you're on shorts. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it on my darkandcyrus.live thing as a clickable link. Why don't I do that? So you guys can just type that in on shorts. Let me do my link and bio thing and I'll just add it there. <clears throat> um, it's not this one. Boom. Campaigns. It's this one. Copy campaign URL. Beacons. Link in bio. Where's my links? Links. Add link. Uh, 2024 share or no, um, St. Jude charity event add. Oh no. Paste add. Uh, St. Jude charity link. All right, cool. It's there. So if you go to, um, dark It'll be a link on there. Darkinsiris.live. It'll be the one of the top links towards the bottom. If you click it, it'll take you to it. That's probably the easiest way to do it. Kane! I'll go to the other stream. I was 285, I want to say. Started about, starting about four weeks. That's crazy, brother. Yeah, look at this. February 22, guys. February 22nd, 2024. Already 500 subscribers. Brother, you are killing it. Killing it. Let's take a look at your content. Popped a video up. Cubecraft versus Hybe. Bed Wars Edition. But anything specific, um, Kane, that you want me to take a look at? Anything specific? Wait, what is that site? Beacons? Oh, yeah, guys. Uh, let me uh, let me go ahead and say this, okay? Darkensiris.live. Okay, that's my website that I use for all my live stream stuff. This is where, if you want to go get a one hour where we sit down on a call, you could, you could book time with me to do that. Growth 20 gets you 20% off of that. You can click to see your media kit. This is where like all of your stuff goes. Talk about views and subscribers and your videos. This is what you could send to brands for them to be able to see all your stats. Really, really good thing to have and go ahead and work on it. Talks about all of the brands you worked with, everything. Um, this is all free by the way. Um, and then you can do links for the bio stuff. Um, but if you go to my webpage and you click this make your own beacons page, you can get $20 credit to try out the pro features. Okay. So I would go do this. Every creator should have a beacons page. I'm 100% in agreement that this is the best thing you could do. So darkensiris.live and go click make your own beacons page so that you get um, some credit. Uh, it, give, it, it doesn't really do much for me. It's just as much as I'm just referring you guys. So if you want to click that, I don't, I don't even know what it does for me, but just go ahead and do that. I just set up stream elements. Congratulations a minute ago. Do you use slobs or OBS with it? I use OBS, but you could use Streamlabs. You can use any platform really, but honestly, you can do the Streamlabs if you're, you can do stream elements. By the way, welcome to chat. Oh, you're not, not welcome to chat, by the way, but you've always been here, Karis. Um, they have a thing where you can download, which is stream elements, their actual thing, which is sc.live. 
If you download se.live, it'll put a plugin inside OBS so you can see all of your stream element stuff. So I would do se.live, you should go 100% do that. se.live, go do this from them, really nice. So anyway, if you don't have a Beacons account, go do this, it's free. There are paid versions and paid upgrades for each one. The one I do is the Lincoln Bio upgrade. Um, cool, so I'm sorry, which one do you want me to take a look at? Most recent video works, the green screen was a tad messed. Uh, I also have a question about shorts, if you could look at those. Yeah, let me look at the latest video. Yo, what's up everybody? For those of you who don't know, Cubecraft and The Hive both released Bed Wars in the same month. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play one game of Bed Wars on Cubecraft and one game of Bed Wars on The Hive. So that you Bed Wars players will know which server to invest your time into. Let's go. First up, we're gonna be playing Bed Wars on Cubecraft. <laughs> now, I totally forgot that currently Cubecraft on Bed Wars is only teams of four, which is trash. Hopefully that changes in the near future, but we'll see. I like this GUI though. It's not horrible. Yo, they got a turret. Oh my. I love the fact that you just said GUI for graphic unit user interface. I've never heard someone actually spell out GUI. I've just heard them say GUI. <laughs> my whole team is just hogging the gen. So if you look on the right, you can see how many players are on each team and if their bed is still there. I guess that's kind of clean. It's not horrible. Okay, we got some jump pads. This dude has a diamond sword. Thank now I got you. leather armor and an iron sword, but Ew. man, that was expensive. Yo, Zebulon po do ah, blah, 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 blah. Zebulon just dropped a twenty-five dollar <laughs> donation, guys. Yeah. Guys, can we say GGs for Zebulon? Yo, two twenty-five for Saint Jude already. Zebulon, brother. Jonathan talks hardware. What's up? How's it going? Welcome to chat. Gooey, not the letters by itself. <laughs> I say gooey. I, I say gooey. It's gooey. <laughs> Yo, Zebulon, thank you for the $25 going straight to St. Jude to support children's research for cancer. Oh, children's research for cancer? Cancer research for children. <laughs> I said it backwards. I said it backwards. Anyway. Awesome. Thank you so much. 225. We're almost halfway to our goal. First stream, guys. In the gen for a minute. Crazy, Zebulon. What Thank you for the, the support. Really appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for all of that. <laughs> Not going to lie, this is kind of sick, but what the heck is up with that turret? Oh, oh, oh no. Nice. Okay, we're blocked in. Oh, we got the bed. Let's go. No audio that came with that. These freaking turrets are ridiculous. Can we get this final kill? Oh, Nice, okay, purple is out. I've noticed that this bed wars- Okay, this is really clean. It's, it's nice editing, it keeps it moving, it keeps it fresh. You're showing some highlights. You got the, you know, the bed's not there. You got the turrets with the actual like skeletons that are there. Really nice editing. I like how you're not doing- The most campy bed- Every single word is the text. I think that was the last time we were on here. As I said, don't use text unless you're emphasizing Worst something. I've ever played. I've also noticed there's nothing really to break blocks except for this fireball. So if you're playing solo and you don't really have good team communication, it's gonna suck. Yeah, I think that that's really good that you're driving that way. Really, get off, get off. really nice get job off. doing that. Nice. Go Thank through. you for the support. By the way, those of you who are on both horizontal and vertical, you guys are the G. Hit them both off, hit them both off. Ew, oh my gosh, are we the best? Well, I didn't get a pickaxe, so this is a long shot, but come on. Come on, yes. No, 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 no. Get out, get, get out. Him, get him, get him. Get the bed. Yes, we got Blue's bed. Get him. No way. Bro, you are cracked I'm the only person wars. who's broken a bed in this whole game, bro. That's worth the point in the game where TNT is just falling randomly. Like, that doesn't even make oh, that's sense. Cool. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, get him, oh, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, oh my gosh. No, I used my totem oven dying. What is going on? Three lights, there's a death match. So, oh, that was so unlucky. I went to attack that dude. I didn't realize. So good. Realize it's a clean. Death match counter. It's pew in death here. Yeah, been in here. Everyone just had to put myself in the queue again. Yeah, so it was exclamation join, but I don't have the bot going. So I'll add you in. I got you. It's two lives, I think. Okay, now we're on the hive playing bed wars. Man, this already looks. I'm gonna leave way this queue up. We got our gen right here, we'll our bed right there. Team upgrades. We'll we got the an next item shop. Look at that dude's face. He's just got a huge nose. Okay, oh, the GUI is super simple. This would have been a really good time to pop up like a picture of Squidward. This guy's got a huge nose in the hat from Squidward. Got a huge nose. Okay, oh, that would have been, fun. Well, would have been a GUI funny moment. The GUI is super simple. It's just Missed all right meme opportunity. I actually kind of like that. That person just fell right off. Let's go. How much for a sword? <laughs> Five iron for a sword. Perfect. Okay, we're going to side rush red over here because they're already getting attacked. 
Absolutely no one saw that. Also, there's a three second respawn timer, which is new for sure. Oh, I guess the gens turn off when someone is dead. I don't think that's how it was in Treasure Wars, or was it? This person got freaking iron armor. Oh my. It's actually a five second respawn timer. Yeah, this, this is really good content, brother. Definitely recommend The Hive right now. If you like other mini games, I recommend checking out Cubecraft as well, though. Peace. Really good, clean, short, to the point. Just solid content. Kane, I think that this is really good. Also, really good thumbnail. It's clean, nothing over the top. Which one should you choose? Cubecraft versus Hive, Bed Wars Edition. Really nice title. I'm not surprised this video is doing well for you. Epic vid, are you streaming soon? Yo, we playing on stream too. Hey, can't keep up with the good work. Uh, it's impressive. Um, uh, just really nice. Play with me too, please. Just really good. Good comments, good things. This is a GG in chat for you, man. Thanks for all the great content and making it easy for me to click a link. Yeah, totally, Zebulon. Thank you for donating. That's so crazy, man. $25. Um, thank you for giving your hard-earned money to, uh, to, to better... St. Jude and their opportunities to, to fight childhood cancer. That is so amazing. GG's, oh, please put me into Mia! Mia, you've been here for forever, friend. Friend, you've been here forever. You haven't had yourself in yet. Friend! 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 I love Mia's channel, too. All right. Uh, can I go next because I have to go to bed? DS Pulse, that's not how it works, brother. It's not how it works, brother. Kane, great job. We're going to take a look at one of your shorts. And then we're going to move on to the next. Let's take a look at this latest short. Hyperspeed sensitivity. Active. Fireball fight, Suspicious but I'm using Welcome. hyperspeed sensitivity. Oh, what's up with your voice, brother? Fireball fight, but I stop. Fireball fight, but I'm using hyperspeed sensitivity. Are you changing your voice? Because that's not how your voice was Fire in your videos. Mine Minecraft, the last player standing wins. Minecraft, the last player standing wins. Fireball fight, but I start with no bang. Fireball fight, but I'm using hyperspeed sensitivity. Are you sick here? Sensitivity. Yeah, this isn't going to be the easiest to watch. Sorry, everybody. I'm like shaking as I'm jumping. You guys see that? Why is this guy putting upside down T's everywhere? To the bed. TNT. TNT. Nice. This is perfect. I'm assuming the upside down T means penis. <laughs> get the bed. Get the bed. Oh my gosh. No way. Oh. Yes. Fireball pipe, but I'm using. Are you changing your voice on purpose? Sick, you gotta appreciate me. Quick question with my shorts. They seem to always get 10 to 10 to 12k views, uh, which I'm grateful for, which is interesting because some metrics are way better than others. It, it all depends. Sometimes shorts are weird because it, there's so many factors. You know, did they watch it all the way through? Yes, well, that could push the video. Did they, you know, did they like the intro and most people stay through the intro? That could make the video work. Is there a lot of likes and they're continuing to engage with it? That could work. I think there's a lot of factors that go into shorts that there's not a perfect piece there. But I do know that uh, the way shorts work is very similar to the way YouTube videos work, which means that when you get a video that goes into the feed, right, um, it's going to be shown to a small subset of people. It's going to figure out, do they like that video? And then they're going to show it to another, if they, if they like it, then they'll continue to show it to more people in that subset. And that's where you get the big jump. That's where you go into the feed, right? That's when you get your shorts bump. And then they'll show it to the people in the feed, and then they'll try another little thing. And then if they work, then they'll show it to them. If they don't, they try another little thing somewhere else. And what I mean is a small subset of people in a niche or an audience that they're trying to target from YouTube's perspective, that's the algorithm. They're trying to target the YouTube algorithm with other people. So when it comes to shorts, it's the same thing. That's why you get that sudden rise is because of impressions. It only, it only takes like less than a second for a short to be counted as a view, whereas on YouTube, it takes like five or six or seven seconds for a view to actually count as a view, okay? So when you click onto a YouTube video, if you click off of it really quick, it won't technically count as a view for the creator. They have to stay for... I can't remember what the time is. Somebody can look it up, but it's like, I think it's a few seconds. But for shorts and for like TikTok and for Instagram, that's why you can get millions and millions of views and they've only just sat on your video for maybe a second and swiped. So it's some of it has to do with how interactive someone is with your video, right? If you've got a really strong hook and they stick through the hook, but then they swipe, right? You're getting the attention of a lot of views really quick, but they've swiped after. That's why it might not be going back into the algorithm which means it could be a symptom of having a really good hook, but the rest of the video is kind of slow. So they're, they're staying through, you're getting the view, but they're not going to continue to push it. 
So it might still be the part of you need to speed up the pacing of the editing towards the end of the video to keep them there. There's a lot of things that come around to that situation, by the way. I have 75 plus swipers, 90 to 100% retention, even up to 30 to 35 seconds. Interesting, but super grateful for the growth. This is really, I mean, you're doing really well, obviously. Just tell Brandon you want to review. We're doing it old school tonight. Yeah. I think it's like eight seconds. Yeah, I appreciate that, Hardwired. Thank you so much. How can I enter the queue? I forgot since last time. Yeah, uh, Jonathan, I've already got you on the queue. Ski Mask, what's up? How's it going? Sorry for the hot minute. What's up? Suspicious Milk. Have been focused on a ton on the script. All right. Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. Sorry, I was just, I'm going back and forth in chat, guys. Here we go. Um, oh, okay, yeah, I've got you on chat. We're doing an old school tonight. I'm writing down the names in a uh, in a form and just keeping them up here on my other monitor. If that makes sense. GG's, man, congratulations. I think that you're doing something, you're obviously doing something right. So continue Fireball to drive fight, this on. Um, I honestly think that if you're trying to make your voice deeper on these, do the other. Like you probably should do regular voice because when they jump in their video, uh, it might not... It might not fit right when they figure out that your voice is a little different. Cake, I'm putting you in. Um, the queue is kind of, we got a lot of people in the queue tonight. Um, and that's just because uh, we spent a little bit of time. Um, well, every time we get a donation, I kind of slow down. But we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 people in the queue right now. Um, but yeah. Anyway, congratulations, man. Congratulations on your growth. 500 subscribers. That's crazy, dude. GG's on your content growth. I think that's absolutely amazing. Good for you, man. Not having milk, are you here? And then obviously the same case, we might not have people who are here who have already said they're going to be here, so we could, could go through the list pretty quick. We're going to watch one piece of content from all of the people coming up. We're going to keep it, keep it easy, guys, and not watch multiple. Um, yeah, not having milk, are you here? Appreciate it, Cyrus. Hey, GG's on your growth. I appreciate you letting me take a look at your channel. Greco, you're up after not having milk. Been taking your advice for YouTube, and my channel's popping off when you reviewed me. I have 30 subs. Now it's about 70? Yo! GG, man. Congratulations, Ski Mask. Recently hit 700 subs. Yo! Congratulations. Guys, I love the growth. I love the growth. So much Minecraft stuff today. I agree. And Minecraft's fine. Minecraft is a big game. It's a big audience. It's a really big audience. I wouldn't, you know, it's nothing wrong with having a lot of that content. It does not mean that it's oversaturated. Trust me. Do you only ever watch one creator? No. You watch multiple creators, guys. All right. I don't see not having milk. Greco, you're up. Greco, what are we looking at, friend? What are we looking at, my friend? Are we looking at some awesome content? What kind of awesome content are we taking a look at on your channel, brother? Anything in particular? Anything that's just driving that you want me to take a look at specifically? Appreciate it. What are you doing, bro? It's late. Get some rest, my guy. What's up, James? Donnelly? Brother, it's, uh, it's almost midnight for me. It's not too late. Kids are on my, you know, my wife's on spring break. Hudson's on spring break. Um, 4K, what's up? Yeah, it's, uh, hold on. At the first time I saw you looked at the video like three weeks ago, I had 4K subs. 5.3 cake. Pop off, brother. GG, dude. Got to sleep by 12. Can't stay much longer due to school. I got you, Jonathan. Yeah, if I don't get you this time, we'll catch you next time. True. Yeah, man, everyone's on spring break. We're just, um, you know, my son... It's not going to be kicked up. Rank two, most recent upload. All right, let's do it. Rank two, here we go. One hour ago. Let's jump into it. Just to remind you guys, twitch.tv slash darkgreco. Please make sure you put more stuff in your about section here. By the way, Greco. 17 subs, 118 videos. 14,000 views. Here we go. Guys, I've got it. Here it is. I'm here with you. Yes, it's enough. Wait, 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 wait. Greco, have we reviewed your channel before? Have we? Kate been working hard. Kate's putting in the work. Been thinking about getting coaching and viewing with you with revenue from it. Do it, man. Book a thing. Book some time. Let's have it. Answer. Ask any questions. Let me look at your chat, your channel. We'll take a look at it. Bro. We have. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, let's do it. Another ranked one. But guys, this is it. This is the one. Me, 
Gareth and Spencer, we drop in and we slaughter and win. You're going to have to stay tuned to find out. Guys, if you haven't, slap that like button and subscribe. Guys, I'm so glad you're here. Stay frosty, my friends. I'll see you in there. All right, guys, 20, 30 second intro. Guys, what do you think? This is one using your tips from last time. Love it. Guys, first of all, what do y'all think about this introduction? Chat, I'm looking at you. What are your thoughts on this introduction before I give my thoughts on this, especially the title ranked who question mark? What are your thoughts? I'm definitely wanting to give you what I think, but I'm curious to see what chat's going to be thinking before I jump in and say anything. By the way, if you're just jumping in, my name is Brandon. I'm taking a look at your content. When I say your content, I mean your content, your content. We're taking a look at it. We're breaking it down. I'm giving you my advice. You can hate it or love it. You can take it to heart, whatever the case. But sometimes it's just nice to have an unbiased opinion, someone who's not like in your community or someone who's close to you, someone who can just give you like real advice, right? That's a really good way to do it. With love, the gamer headset mic is being swallowed whole. Also, a bit long. The mic is the mic is bad. This is from this is from short form content side. The mic is bad. He needs to cut the pauses. Jonathan talks. HW says, "Ed probably wouldn't go more than five to fifteen seconds for the intro. Also, a bit long. Mic needs an upgrade." Greco, these are the things that I'm reading from over there. Aimbot Adam, what's up? Welcome to chat. Can you check mine out? Be blunt AF. Aimbot, I'm gonna add you to the queue. We have a we have a queue of people. This is how it works. It's not just like uh, immediate. So just know that that. It comes with a queue, and there's you know we get to you as, as people request. So just know that that's the case. However, you can jump to the front of the line if you go donate to charity. By the way, we're doing a charity stream uh, for the or charity event for this month. So if you want to donate to charity, um, I'll jump you to the front of the line. That'd be a great way to great way to get you stuff reviewed quick. Um, yeah, it's for Saint Jude. There's no no wrong way to get to support Saint Jude. He should get a cheaper condenser mic. Hey Brandon, will you stream on Sunday? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna commit to streaming specific days right now and it's just because i haven't been consistent i don't want to continue to let people down who are expecting it um i'll probably post when i'm going to go live on community posts the day that i'm going to go live from now on just to be just to be sure i take any advice all right cool um title is a bit short you don't have much money since i'm waiting for payout for a pc i had a side hustle pc flipping hey i pc flip too man i feel it all right so here we go um let's talk about your intro uh, number one, uh, I like the fact that you're showing gameplay here. Guys. I think that this whole flow in, which is a really cool title transition, is nice, but I feel like I should just start with you full screen. Maybe since you're already doing green screen and you have this in the background. I got right? You're already using this green screen. You got this behind you. I think it would probably be beneficial to just put this gameplay right behind you. But it looks like you're probably already really mixing it in OBS. So what you could do is have a green color that takes up your whole OBS review panel, right? So just put yourself green screened and cut out in front of a green just color that's behind you. Generate a color, make it green. Okay, and then when you go into your editor, you can cut yourself out again and put yourself in front of this kind of content. Real big in the frame, whatever the case. But I think it's important that I, you know, you do the introduction, but I feel like you're talking this isn't adding too much, so I would totally make you bigger on screen compared to what you are right now. Um, the little flow-in animation, I could take it or leave it. In my opinion, I'd say I'd leave it, but um, if it fits your style and what you want to do, continue to do it. Microphone, I'm going to be I'm gonna be 100% honest. Do am, I'm a microphone person. I love microphones. I love reviewing microphones, whatever the case. Um, but I'm going to be straight. I think that... When I think of Call of Duty, I hate to say this, I think of like crappy mic quality when it comes to comms, and there is actually something, I don't know, nostalgic with with how I the microphone happened. Like it was almost me listening to uh, like old comms from Modern Warfare One during like um, like the story mode. It almost put me back in that aspect. It kind of like the mic quality. That's what I'm saying. I think that. I think that it puts me in that aspect of thinking like old, like I'm comms for someone across the map kind of thing. And it's somewhat clear, but it's definitely not this kind of clear, like you having a dedicated mic kind of clear. Guys, I've got it. Here it is. I'm here with you. Yes, it's another ranked one, but guys, this is... I, I, think, it's, I think it's nice. Now, let's talk about the content. 
I think when you're saying like, ah, oh, yes, it's nice. It's another ranked one. And then you talk about your buddies. Like your normal regulars are probably going to know who your buddies are, but no one else will. Now, I think the way you introduce them, we're back here with these people, blah, blah, blah. I think you're going to say today we're playing with some, you know, we're playing with some friends. We're doing ranked. They already know you're playing ranked where because you told them that and you're already going to know you're going to play with friends because you said that. But I think that it's just a little long when you're like, hey, make sure you like and subscribe and let's just get into it. Stay frosty. Like all that stuff could just be removed. I wouldn't even say like and subscribe, like get all of that out of the way. I would say it towards the end. Like if you enjoyed this one, do that. But then you did this, which is what I didn't like. Listen to this. Stay frosty, my friends. Right here. That like button, Gareth and Spencer, we drop in and we slaughter. And we slaughter. And win. And win, but then you say this. You're going to have to stay tuned to find out. God. You're going to have to stay tuned to find out, but you gave them the outcome. You told them that you slaughtered and won, but you then you said, hey, stay tuned and find out. You didn't give them the opportunity of actually saying like what's going to occur because you've already told them what's going to happen. So I'd be curious to see at 18 seconds how many people left your video because that'd be interesting to just kind of see what's happening. Yeah, the micro. if it was me, I would get a new microphone, but in some ways I kind of, what I'm saying, it's kind of nostalgic. I kind of want to hear what it sounds like as we get into this. Let's click a little further in. I come here with Micah. This is a hot drop. Yeah, dude, it's fucking saucy it's so over here. What the fuck? There's already 13 people. <laughs> what the? The enemy is no longer tracking you. You lost him. Oh, hopefully this brings him over here. Friendly loadout drops on the way. All right, so it looks like a full. Maybe it's cut. Funny. Oh shit! I didn't grab the slanks. The what? That's the smokes. The smokes. Hey. Somebody's playing with an Aussie. I love it. Friendly ammo. Friendly ammo <sighs> oh, nice. Yeah. Thank you. I'm running stems. Just cool. cause. Yeah, I'm running smokes. Skip to 628. Why didn't you just cut it? I wouldn't even have put skip to something. I would have just made the cut. Good night, everyone. Oh, you can view my content next stream. Yeah, totally, Jonathan. Ski mask, I think I've already got you. T I don't have you typed in. Ski mask underscore R6. Um, yeah, so I think that I, I would have just cut it. I would have made sure that things are clean in between action. Just go ahead and cut between all the action, the important stuff. Like, you know, you picked up specific guns or whatever the case, but trim out all of the movement, the conversation that's not really doing anything, like all of this. There's no one here. This is so freaking weird. Every time I come oh, here no, with Micah, just... this is a hot drop. So, like, yeah, there's just all of this. Like, this is... Uh, what the fuck? There's already 13 people? Like anyone could play Call of Duty and, and, you know, mess with stuff and buy stuff, right? Get them to the action. They want to see the good stuff. What the? the enemy is no longer tracking. Get them to the good stuff, right? I, blowing out the mic can be funny at the right time. Yeah, but not all the time. Um, I think that it's really important. Jump to a horizontal stream. Do you use chat box to display chat on screen? If never, how come? I do on a lot of streams, but I'm not doing it for this stream. You lost them. Just because there's not a chat that will that will combine two simultaneously going... Twi uh, YouTube streams. They won't. There's not one that does two simultaneous YouTube streams. Oh, hopefully this brings them over here. Two channels, yes, but not two simultaneous YouTube streams. Drops on the way. Oh yeah, it would. Yeah, I would totally say like all of this could have been cut, and then you said skip to this for whatever. You probably could have pulled out like six, seven minutes of content in here, right? <laughs> That's alright. Oh shit, 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 shoot. We're gonna make them think we're gone. Dude, like nobody came here to that freaking building, bro. It shocks the shit out of me. I yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here I would trim. Um, after, after listening to it, I think the nostalgia of the microphone's wearing off. Yeah, we need a better mic. We need to figure out how to EQ that mic a little bit better. Hey, oh, I got one coming. He's dead. He's down. He's down. He's down. Three squads left in the war zone. Stay alert. Yo, this kid's hacking for sure. Enemy soldier 
Yo, this kid's bullshit, bro. That kid's fucking shite. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. GG's on the win. I'm kind of curious why you keep sneaking music in at random times. Yeah, all of that's just wasted. Um, all of this is wasted outro stuff. After you get the Warzone victory. Yo, thank you for watching this one. I really appreciate it. If you want to support the channel, hit it with a like and subscribe. Check out one of this video, blah, 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 blah. We'll see you in the next one. Make an outro. Like, all of that is just not really a farm. Oh, look, it's Obi. All of that is not really a farm for engagement. And even if they stayed to this point, they were probably going to leave at that point, um, which means it loses you over a minute of average view duration, which hurts your video overall. So... Yeah, there's a lot of stuff I would trim out of this video. I think out of this 13-minute video, I could have probably cut it down to, like, six. And I know that sounds bad, but I probably could have made it a six-minute video. Easy. Could have been a seven- to eight-minute video, maybe. Yeah, I'm with Hardwired. Totally could have trimmed this down. 100% trimming. Better mic and audio. W breakdown. You got the star. Yeah, aim. I think that... I think the biggest thing here is is if you're watching other content from COD creators, right... The, I think when you when you think about when you watch it, it's their entertainment factor, what they're doing, right? But also that same case is, is seeing what's occurring, the, the good things and the bads, the deaths, the, you know, oh, no, I threw a, you know, I got rid of the, the best gun in the game or whatever, blah, blah, blah. They, like, highlight the stuff that's kind of bad, but then they also show the stuff that's good. You know, the kills, the kill streaks, the funny moments, the things that kind of occur, right? That's kind of the important stuff that would that you want to show, but not just you running around and scaving. Like no one's paying oh man, I've like spoke like Tarkov stuff. Not really like running around and doing scabs and stuff. I don't think that that's important. By the way, I showed this last time. I want to show you guys this right now. Right here. Subscribe. <clears throat> guys, I'm so glad you're here. An unsubscribe. I want to show you this. Everyone pay attention. I showed this to the last people <clears throat> that was here, but let me show you this. When he says the word subscribe, I want you to pay attention to the actual subscribe button. Pay very close attention. Really watch this for a second. You're going to have to stay tuned to find out. Guys, if you haven't, slapped that like button and subscribe. Guys. Oh, I didn't do it on his video. I guess it's probably because of the microphone quality. If you say the word subscribe in your video, the subscribe button lights up and does a whole animation thing on it now. It's a new thing with, with YouTube. But I think it has to clearly be able to hear what you're saying, and it probably didn't there. Yeah, so those are my thoughts for you, Greco. Per previous chat question, do you stream elements? Do you know of a way to ignore vertical chat to force, verti force chat box to reference horizontal? I've searched but no answer. Do you know a way to, to ignore vertical chat and have it reference vertical? Uh, yes. Um, thank you. You're welcome. Um, so the answer is yes. However, I can show you. So if I go to dashboard, yes, I use, I'm actually using stream elements tonight. That's what my, all of my alerts are connected to. Um, so if I go to Twitch, there is, remind me later, there is a thing in here for overlays. I have it here. I cannot remember where I got it from. This is old. Let me see if I can find this. Um, I know I got it from Nutty, but I don't know how long ago it was that I got it from Nutty. Let me see if I can find what I'm talking about. Sideways chat. So here it is. This is the chat that's sideways where it just scrolls across the screen like this, kind of like the ticker for the donations at the top. It's it's the sideways chat. Is that what you're talking about, Karos? Taking all this and applying in the future. Thank you. Yeah, totally. Um, yeah, so is that what you're talking about, Karos? If that's the case, there is an old video from Nutty. Sideways chat. What are you referring to then? We'll elaborate momentarily. Go ahead. There's an old one. That... God, it's so old. I don't know if I'll be able to find it. This thing is like probably three years old from him. Easy. I mean, there's no way I'm going to be able to find this right now. 
There's several people who have done it, though. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. Guys. Alright, All right, cool. Who's next? Mart's World. Mart's World, are you here? I need to increase my microphone in my ear. So I can actually hear myself just a little bit better. Testing one, two, three. Yeah, I kinda need, I need to be able to hear myself. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. I am here, Mart's World. Yo! All right, Mart's World. Welcome to my creative corner. I'm a photographer, cinematographer, and avid gamer with big dreams of becoming full-time creator. Join me on this exciting journey as I capture stunning visuals, share my gaming adventures, and document the ups and downs of pursuing my passion online. Turn pixels into stories. I love that. Oh, that's such a good line. Let's turn pixels into stories and make magic happen together. That's such a good line. 76 subs, 70 videos. Such a good line. Um, what games do you play? Put that in your about section. What games are you currently playing? I think that's important. Videos. League of Legends. League of Legends. Street photography. Come cook with me. Canon C200 EOS R. Granville. 2023. It kind of looks like a... Kind of a conglomerate channel, right? What do you want me to take a look at, Mark's World? I mostly post shorts. What do you want me to take a look at? Is there a question list? Oh, is there a cute list? So normally when we use my bot, um, we use Streamlabs bot, there's a queue list and you can like tell you what your queue is and where you're where you are in the queue. Um, but we're not using it tonight for uh, a couple different reasons, but this is what we're at right now. Streaming on YouTube only, horizontal and stream A, vertical streams, stream B. How would I stream to both with stream elements only showing chat from stream A on screen with a chat box? How would I stream to both with stream elements only showing chat on stream A with screen with, oh, that is very, just a general review, I guess. Okay, okay, cool. That is very specific. Uh, Keros, stream, to both with stream elements only, that's fine. Showing chat from stream A on screen with a chat box. Huh. I mean, you could pop out chat and use the actual pop out chat window. Like when you're in like studio, when you go to studio.youtube, you can go and pop out the chat from your video. So if you go to content, and you go to live and you're in your live, you could in theory, like grab the chat that's over here and do pop out chat. Use this as the browser URL. Use this right here as the browser URL as, and put it on your stream, right? And then you can lower the opacity to where it'll do or use um, a chroma keyer and actually key out the black so it'll actually be transparent. Um, what's his face? Uh, What's his name? Oh man, how am I how am I missing this? Rob, I am Rob. Uh, does this for his channel, um, and that's how he's able to grab his specific chat. That's how he does that. But with stream elements, because it's a combined thing, I don't know. Why don't we try that here? Let's let's try something. I'm curious. Let's do this, guys. Um, now I'm curious. Let's go to YouTube Live. I'm gonna I'm gonna add a chat widget because I'm doing two different chats right now. Um, can you guys comment? Oh, here we go. Can you guys comment on both streams? And let's see what pops up. Can somebody type in both streams? Almost crush a C2 hangar bay doors going on. I'm not fully paying attention, sorry. <laughs> oh, that's not good, Mia. Hey there, hello. Which one is it showing? Hey there came up on the short side. This is only showing the shorts chat. Type on long form stream. It looks like it's only showing vert chat.
It looks like it's only showing vert chat for some reason, but there's no way to tell it which one to do if you're streaming like dual. I don't know. Maybe it's because I don't know. I don't know why it would stream vert chat like this. I don't know what the answer to that is. I don't know if I can tell you type on shorts yet. It's only showing vert chat. I don't know. Francie, welcome to chat. I don't know if I can be able to tell you yes or no. I don't think I have a solution for that one. That one's a new one for me. And yeah, that's a new one for me. How much longer to your time? Uh, March. We're doing March World. We got Maverick, Wody Mac, and then Pulse. All right, March. Let's take a look at one of your latest videos. Cooking on Easter weekend. Okay. What are we doing here? Um, am I going to have to worry about copyright in any of this, Marts? Okay, I think all pra platforms prefer shorts vertical. Maybe. Maybe. I, again, I don't have the answer to that. Challenge accepted. I don't have the answer to that. Now I got to try to figure that one out. I say that because as soon as I add a dual stream of vertical chat box, we'll only show vertical chat. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Huh. Not this video. Okay, what, what do you want to take a look at? I think TOS on Twitch doesn't allow chat merge. It does not. I bet uh, YouTube does not want to merge vertical and horizontal chats. Yeah, but it's, I don't, there's not a, I asked a YouTube person, YouTube rep person, and they said that they don't, there's not a service that will combine two chats from the same channel going on at the same time. So I would assume it's whatever chat went live the last, like latest, would be the one that YouTube pulls the API from. So I add, I started my vertical chat second. So that's why it's pulling that. I don't, I don't know how it did that. I got to go now. Sever, thank you so much for all your support, man. Great channel tonight. Hey, thank you for your $50 dono earlier. That's crazy. 225 raised, guys. How do I see what spot I'm in? I can tell you. I mean, you're pretty far down the list. You're like 12 right now. Far down. I'm not really sure if we're going to get to you. We're at three hours in already. Slobs. Stated on their website somewhere that their chat box is intended to show both, but it just... Well, I actually asked a Streamlabs rep, and they said that it's not going to support it. They only support one stream at a time. I don't know, not going to be a fix become implemented from our side. I don't know, maybe I should Maybe I should write a bot. <clears throat> maybe I should write a bot. Maybe I should solve the, solve the issue for people. I don't think I'll be able to do it. I'm not that, not that smart. Mark, so what are we looking at? Oh, you said, or Marsh, you said not this one. Let's look at this one right here. Oh, League of Legends. Slay! <laughs> Slay! Oh, copyright, friend. All right, Chuck Norris. Oh my God. Just nuke them. What the absolute craziness. Wow. You are cracked. Do you code? Uh, I know a little bit, but not much. You think you'll get to me tonight? You are six in. We're only taking a look at one video per, maybe. There's not much discussion with this. The memeing is great, but as a not not a League of Legends player, I don't know if I can add too much context to the specific gameplay because there's not much content for me to review other than the, the memes and the fun of it. Um, but what I would say, if, specifically for this type of content, you know, if it's supposed to be memed, right, you, let, you need to also incorporate music in a way that you can use the music to meme as well. Special zooms, like what you've done a couple times where you zoom in on the character... Just showing them using the memes as an opportunity. I just feel like 
Or 20. I mean, I mean, that's actually not, I mean, it's not bad content yet. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know how much I can actually add to this one because of the league part of it. I think that as far as a meme style of content, right? I think you have to think about how am I going to make this searchable? So let's attack, tackle it from that point of view. Going criminally insane. What does League of Legends do to a man? I think that the th thumbnail and the title don't lean itself into what you're showing in the game, right? So you showed a lot of really cool stuff that was happening, but your problem is going criminally criminally insane. I think if you showed the characters like nuking the person from across the map and then you just like rage raging punching your keyboard or about to smack your face with the keyboard would have been a better thumbnail and the title of what happens when, and you'd put a name of the character in the game, and then a name, you know, what happens when you combine blank with blank, you get dot, dot, dot. You know, something that leads itself to what's going to happen in the game based upon what you see character-wise, I think that really could be what happens. I don't, I just don't think that you're, by not having any kind of communication that's happening, you're not showing what actually is occurring. No, God, please, no, no, no. Because all I saw you was just get railed here. You're getting like tripled and then you have no, guy moving God, in. please, no. And that's why you're saying no! that. You're stuck. They pull you in and you're just getting bombed. Yeah. So, I mean, I get it. And this is how you're just getting just dropped on league. Yeah, I think this is going to be down to a thumbnail title thing because I think the content's funny. I think there needs to be some kind of music that's going to lean itself to like add on to the hilarity of what you're doing, but not having any kind of discussion throughout it is kind of difficult to, I don't know. Yeah. It's You're going to have to target searchability, which means you're going to have to increase the title and thumbnail on this one specifically, specifically March. I don't know. Let's look. What's your popular content? Why street photography stopped being fun? I was obsessed with street photography. It's, it's me, March World. I I got a new haircut. All of your uh, yeah. All of your content's coming out of the right ear, ear, not the left, just the right. I mean, I was obsessed. I loved it. It was like a game. This life goes on, you know. It's funny. I think I can work with like some like. Just random shots if I edit them enough. Canon 35. Because I can just use it for. All the way up to an ND. Yeah. Do a little mixed media of something or other. Mixed media. Oh, yeah. that's kind of cool. Kind of in focus. It's okay. He oh, I gotta increase that shutter speed, brother. I mean, that's a pretty cool shot. It's a pretty solid shot. I like the movement. I like the movement. Cuts need to be factors VFX. Yeah. Going for sh oh, you're going for shutter drag. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Got you. Oh, that one's clean. Chat, look at that. That is shutter drag effect. Look at that. That is clean. Oh, you you peeled that one. Perfect, guy. Oh, that one's clean. That one's good. Wow. I got tired of editing. Oh, that one was good. You could sell that one. Maybe I should stop making gaming content. Oh, that's so good. No, I'm not saying you should stop making gaming content. Uh, you can have different passions. Like, I mean, I, I have like, like 
six lenses and a you know camera up there and cinema camera here. I, I I have I have a photography videography pool too, but you know it just depends on what you do. I think I think when you're a creator, uh, when you're a creative, you just have your you know hands in a lot of things. That's not meant to be a dirty thing, guys. Don't don't make things happen. Don't be weird. Okay. I don't know. Just that was good. All right, let's keep going. March World, congratulations. That was about the best I can add for you. Maverick, are you here? Oh, that was so beautiful. That was beautiful. No, no. No Diddy. No Diddy. What is no Diddy? GG's, brother. Oh. That is a black pro mist. If I've never seen a black pro mist in my life. Yo. Pretty much every YouTuber. I mean, yeah. It's just it's part of the creativity. That is some black pro mist right there. Yo. Got his hands on a lot of allegations ready. Oh yeah. Oh, oh P. Diddy? Yeah. Yo, I, this the music is copyright, I think, but That is good editing. That's a really good cinematography. It's a little too soft for my opinion. It's a little too soft. Canon ESR. There's music here, guys, but... It's copyright. You gotta listen to my music. I mean, this is good too. I'm just saying. You got some talent there, brother. Wow. GG's, man. Regardless, I think that's really good stuff. I'm weirdly dragged into this, right? I am kind of feel like the same thing. Like it was... If you could hear the music that I heard on the other side, you would understand like it was... It had some drive to it. GG's man, Maverick, are you here? I don't think Maverick's here. I think Maverick's already left us. I think Maverick's already left us. I'll put Maverick to the bottom. Wody Mac! Wody Mac is here. Wody Mac! What are we taking a look at, brother? What are we taking a look at, brother? No diggity. Table, stop. My goodness. This table, the one thing I don't like is it's now got a lot of... Got a lot of shake in it now. That I don't like. And my whole desk has now got a lot of shake in it. I don't know how to fix that. What are we looking at, Wody? What did you say? It's behind the... I've been looking at how music albums do cover art. This Well, if you're talking about this right here, this is nice. This is nice. What you've been doing? This latest, these latest ones. This is really good. Hey Cyrus, before you get into another, rate my dinner: yogurt, steak fries, cereal with yogurt. Ew, yogurt, steak fries, cereal with yogurt, and now garlic naan bread. Rate it. 
That's like a solid three out of ten. First of all, that's like this isn't this isn't throwing gender, but you went to my girl dinner. Oh my god. Girl dinner. That's like that's like the definition of girl dinner. Oh my god. Is there a pause between them? Yeah, did you eat them all at one time? Or was there was there a pause in between? Oh my god. Been using AI to make a music moving music video. It's doing really well. I like this. Let's watch your latest one. Do you give me permission to click your beat only? Let's do the free ones. Is that what I'm saying? Sure. Let's do the free ones. This one right here. Four days ago. He listed it as free. So the, here, it just happened. You introduced it here. Yeah, you introduced it here at the pre-chorus. You had you added this thing at the chorus, which was the 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 bottom like jazz bass right there, and it went da da dum. Where you had the long bass that was holding tonic. And it clashed. Well, it did the same thing here. Listen. Because you've got bum, bum, bum. You got the one to four, and then you've got this other bass that you've added in that went one, two, three instead of one, four, one. And the three and the four, which are a half step apart, really clash. Really clash right here. Right there, you got the bum when you have the the C right after that bum. And I'm pretty sure this is in the key of G. And then that that's not on key. Yeah, yeah. That's like a B flat. What is the key? I don't see the I don't see the key. E major. I mean, yeah, but you have the da da da, that G sharp going against the A clash right here in the bass right there.
there you've got dum dum you're sitting on the three g sharp b and d sharp which is the three of the chord against uh like an a sitting in there kind of funky I sit whenever I like, but I usually float around the root. Yeah, I got you. There's just a little, there's a clash in the beat right there. Anyway, that's just me being like over critical, but I really love the sound of the, that's me being critical because that's just me being a music person. But there's the, the, the shaker in the background, the, the doo wop shaker, the, the thing that you have, that thing's a really nice addition and adds a really nice thing in the background. I love that. Let me click the latest one. majestic stuff sliding across the screen you probably make it a little slower because your video is what 24 frames yeah YouTube vertical in format. Sorry, you're streaming YouTube in a vertical format right now. What's up, Plush? How's it going? Yes, I'm streaming. Uh, I'm using OBS to stream with Adam's plugin. I'm doing 1080 by 1920, so I'm in the shorts feed right now. But I'm also streaming uh, horizontal too. So I'm, I'm dual streaming, but it's the same content. It's just one's vertical so that it's in the shorts feed and the other one is horizontal. Yes. What's up? What's up, Maverick? Rafucho! A few streams I wasn't able to jump in. How are you, Cyrus? Man, I'm doing good. How about you, Rafucho? Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Amp! How's it going? What's up, Amp? What's up, brother? How y'all doing? Rafucho, Amp, how y'all doing tonight? I think a Swiss Army knife do graph for target music. It's like, why? <laughs> you could at least call me Target. You didn't have to call me Wally World. Brother! <laughs> Oh man, it's like it's like I was saying earlier, when you're a creative person, you're a creative person, right? Weird without the wrench. I like that this one I really like. I think the bum bum ba da dum bum 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 ba da 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 dum bum bum. I like the movement, but I feel like the last little part of the run you could have cut off. Like listen. Dum 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 bum 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 dum bum 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 Bum, bum. Right here. Bum, 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 ba, da, da. I feel like you could have stopped that. Bum, bum, ba, da, da, bum, 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 ba, da, da, bum. And then let it sit so that you could have the highs and the highs and the the snare. Da, 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 like clean it up with the same beat. I feel like it could have cleaned the beat up a little bit more. The soft and fluffy nan bread really saved my taste reds. Time for a Coke. Oh my God, Mia. Mia, that is not dinner. Girl dinner. <laughs> um, Maverick, I moved you to the bottom of the list because you weren't here, brother. All right, Wody, that's what I got for you, man. Really nice. Really nice stuff. If you're, From a video perspective, the titles are fine. From the video perspective... You have this stuff that pops on. You do your videos at 24 FPS, right? I would do them either at 30 FPS and have the same kind of motion with the text or just slow this down. Because what you'll see is as you start moving this, there's a, there's tearing on the screen sometimes. And I can see it going click, 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 click across the screen. So either increase, the, increase it to 30 FPS and, and do the video at 30 FPS or, or do uh slower movement with the text on the screen um export at 30 in davinci but i guess it, oh, i need to go to project settings yeah so davinci is stupid um so whenever you use davinci for the first time this is something that is 
ridiculous in my in my point, okay? So when you make something, this is everyone who, who creates videos, pay attention because if you need to learn this, this is, you have no idea how many times I see this. So if you use DaVinci, like here, I'll just open up a video of mine. Oh, da, 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 da. here's the videos, two videos I just released. Um, so here's, whenever you make a, a timeline in DaVinci, it locks the frame rate. But if you're not careful, it will lock the frame rate to what you don't want. So let's say you recorded a whole bunch of stuff at 60 FPS and you don't change anything inside of DaVinci. The, the standard thing is it will set it at 24 FPS, which is fine. That's what you watch. Almost all of your movies at is 24 FPS, by the way. It's just more cinematic. But what you do is instead of taking content, like here's a brand new timeline, instead of taking a piece of content, like here's this, and I drag it down, if I let this go, that's going to make a 24 FPS timeline, right? What you need to do is right click in your media box, timelines, create new timeline. Then you can name it, but this isn't where you stop. Uncheck use project settings. Go to format and set your stuff. Set your resolution, set your frame rate, and then hit create. Now, if you've went down to the gear in the bottom right and set all of that up ahead of time, you can just make a new timeline and it'll make it 60. But unless you've done this for project settings, it will always default to 24 unless you've changed it inside uh, uh, the, the actual settings for the for DaVinci. So please make sure you do that. Okay? Cyrus, I'm being cursed. <laughs> um, yeah, also export in 29.97, not 30. Because most TVs don't... Uh, aren't reading full 60 or roll or full 30. They're doing 59.94, 29.97, 23.96, stuff like that. If I stop typing, I'm still on my TV. Oh no. All right, here we go. Wody Mac, GG's Pulse, you're next. Pulsey boy, what are we looking at? DS Pulse. DS Pulse, 225 subscribers. What am I looking at? Stop typing. I'm on my TV running dual. I got you. 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 How long is Q? Q is pretty long. I'm going to be honest. We're we're at almost three and a half hours live. Um, right now, I have in Q. Currently, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people. I don't know if we'll make it through all of them, if I'm being 100% honest. I'd love to be able to, but it might be the one of those things where I leave this queue up and whoever jumps in next time you get priority, you get up to the front. But um, if you're here and you want to throw your name in next time we're live, you'll get priority. That's fine. Yeah, it's late for your stream, I thought. Yeah, I mean, I've been going for a while. Amp, if you're cool with it, I'll put, throw your name on here. Pulse, what am I taking a look at? Amp, I'll throw your name on here, and if you jump in the next time we're live, I'll get you. <clears throat> Pulse, my newest video is just want more opinions. On so I can take note. Hey YouTube, in today's video, I'm going to be making a really affordable racing sim. Can you now stop? Go away. Thank you. Hey YouTube, in today's video, I'm going. Don't clap. Thanks, Cyrus. Wody, congratulations, man. Your music is on point. Really, your music is on point. I like what you're doing with your videos. Uh, thumbnails are nice. It seems like everything's going really well for you, Wody. Continue to push. Continue to publish. I love what you're doing, man. Continue. Continue to drive it. Maybe even if it if you're offering it for free, maybe even offering the FL file hey, YouTube, for remix. Video, um, Don't clap whenever you do a video. Hey YouTube, in today's video, I'm going to be making a really affordable racing sim. Now, the steering wheel I bought does not have force feedback. I didn't realize that until I bought it. But you know, the wheels. For this video, we got 28 minutes before you or 28 minutes, 28 seconds before you actually move on screen. Uh, not good. So you need to make sure you actually are doing something if it was me i would not even do the introduction right i wouldn't even do the introduction before you set everything up i would go ahead and start your video like this the xbox one don't know about forever. this is where you start the video boom right here right this is where you start recording not where you start the video but this is where you start recording finish your video then record your intro with all of it in front of you. Hey guys, today we're talking about this setup. We're going to be talking about how you do a racing sim setup on the budget. 
I'm going to walk you through each of these. I'm going to walk you through the setup on how I did it. And I'm going to show you some gameplay of me actually using it. Let's get into it. And then it cuts to you showing each device. But the video doesn't start with you staring at a blank table. They're staring at the end product so they can kind of see what they're expecting. I think that that's really important. Um, every every review is a little different with this, but because you're not showing your face and there's not something to latch onto as a human, right? But there's no face, nothing connects, blah, 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 blah. Um, uh, no, Maverick, you're you're still on this, brother. I just I just moved you around. Um, yeah, so I I think that's what's really important is to make sure you actually start the video showing the product in this case, just because of what's happening. Obviously, you have the Xbox that falls. You've already done a short with it. Heels is these pedals. They have like a lot of force before you can press them down. That's why they slide a lot. The brake pedal especially, bro. I, I can't even do it with one hand. You can call me weak down in the comments if you want. <laughs> it's kind of short, but I do Yeah, but like you're talking pedals. about all that and holding it off screen. Why don't you move the camera to where you're able to see what you're talking about? It a lot, and you can change the arrangement of them. I oh, just, just like what I told Zebulon, and Zebulon's capitalized on it. Show, don't tell. I do kind of like the- Like, put your hand on it. Like, you should be showing some B-roll of you pushing your foot on her hand on the brake pedal of it not really moving, right? Is these you pedals. show it. They have like a lot of. And then now you're talking about it this whole time, and then you're how you're connecting it with their it's little Ethernet, Ethernet connector, right? Type of cable. So that's fine, but if you don't just sh talk about it, show, show. Plug them. into the back of the wheel. Show if you them. want to change the sensitivity on the wheel, it's both the paddles Y and B at the same time. We're gonna use a controller for this video. The controller is a PDP Digital Glitch Green. I love this controller. Not gonna lie, you might be. You barely put it into the frame. That was it. Better off racing with this static. Controller welcome to chat. How to get a review? Might. You just say what you just did. Uh, I will tell you, we're probably not gonna get to you tonight, but because you're here, next time we go live, uh, you get priority because we're about to end here in just a little bit. It's getting kind of late for me. We've been on for a little over three hours. With the wheel. Why do you sound out of breath? Me? Or are you talking about the kid? But I feel like Thrustmaster has good wheels and stuff. They just need to make it a little better. Got a war fan. What's up? 13 Welcome years, chat. too. And they haven't even fixed it one time. Headphones. The kid. We've got Pulse, these why do you sound JBLs. out of breath? Sounds they're good. tough, not gonna lie. They have good sound quality. They're noise canceling. And they're kind of... They're nice. I got these for my birthday this year, all the way back in December. And I kind of love these things. So without further ado, let's hop into some Forza. Let's hop into some Forza uh, like as I'm driving person. through ah! the dirt. I haven't driven in a minute um, because I've been gone for a week. So he just said I haven't driven. Did you hear that? I haven't driven in a. <laughs> ah! I haven't driven in a minute um, because I've been gone for a week. So usually I use this like every night before I go to bed. But I'm a little rusty. We're in a Ford GT right now. <laughs> Brother, all we're hearing is like you making <sighs> sounds into your microphone. Okay, um, you need to have like put put the sound coming through your speakers, right? Even though you say you're using a headset, like that's all great and fine. Make it come through the TV. So the wheel kinda. So we're racing on novice. It's okay. We'll 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 catch up. No, we won't. No, we won't. No, we won't. I don't, I don't know if I ever want to, if, when you get your driver's license, tell me, I'm going to start Ubering everywhere. Dude, it's just not turning. Literally, I'm going to start. Never mind. We are not It's not race. turning because you're driving too fast. We're just going to drive around. Usually I can do it, but like right now it's just like over, it's like under steering. And then when I don't want it to, like, then when I don't want it Brother, to over steer, yeah. over steer. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm not even gonna walk everywhere because obviously if I was if I was on the side of the road I'd be like that tree. You just run angry. through me. I don't know. I'd probably be afraid for the Uber driver too. It might also just be this car. Not gonna lie. You could just stop letting go of the steering bad. wheel and letting it like flicker on force feedback. And it's turning on. Brother, like I wanted that retaining wall. What are you doing here? Give me eight years, bro. Eight years? You're not getting your your license till you're like in your twenties. And Dude, the brake broke when I made this video, so I don't have any brake. <laughs> <laughs> he just said that the brake broke. Ah, <laughs> GT is like below because I'll invest some more money into it. And yeah, 
I'm also trying to reach 200 subs, so make sure to subscribe. So I hope you all have a fantastic- He reached his 200 subs, look at that. GG's. Congratulations. Um, yeah, that's my my big thing for you is it, if you're going to say something, show it. Don't just tell about it. Show it. Uh, but in the other case, if you're going to do a video like this, the, we don't need to just hear you breathing, right? You're playing a video game. Let us hear the video game, right? Let us Just let us hear it. I'm going to be using this headset, but for the case of this video, I'm just going to let you hear it through the, the monitor speakers so you can hear all the gameplay that's occurring. Just have fun. Uber Eats live in the mountain. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just not going to go to Idaho. I think he said that's where he said he's from. I'm just not going to go to Idaho. Pulse, that's what I got for you, brother. Oh, Maverick. 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 What am I looking at? What are you doing with Jinxy? I'm watching the one Jinxy clip. I don't understand what you're trying to do. He's having Rocket League sex. <laughs> Uh, oh, brother, stop posting other people's content. But it is funny, though. Snag went for the threesome. <laughs> That's a good clip, Mav. I'm not showing the game. I'm not showing the, the gun on here, but that's good. Bro, stop posting other people's content. Make your own. We've talked about this. Build your brand, brother. Build your brand. Start posting your content, not everybody else's. Yo. All right, cool. Let's keep going. That was Mav. Conquer. Conquer it. Are you here? Hardwired. You can be next. Also, I got my permit. I'm never driving again. Build a brand workshop. Should we do a build a brand workshop? <laughs> you got a brand, guys. It's all about branding. Especially if you want to be known for something, you got to build a brand. You can pop off for one piece of content, but how do you get them to come back? The brand is what gets them to come back. Instead of build a bear, maybe you just come in and I just like give you a whole idea of a brand, and that's the build a brand bear, build a brand workshop. I just sell you content ideas. I gave this one guy content ideas for like his, uh, in like his 2K channel, right? And I checked on him the other day. He's actually using the, the advice I gave him, which is really nice. All right, Conquer It. Hardwired, are you here? Mia's been here forever. Cake's been here forever. I'm here. All right, Hardwired. We're going to make these quick. I say that and we never make them quick. Hard, is it hardwired period? Or is it period hardwired? Channel. Is it hardwired two? Change it to hardwired two. Okay. All right, good. Yo, look at the five fine headset. Look at that. I rock with the Cyrus guy. What's up, Bite? How's it going? Smash that sub. Yep, 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 yep. Please do. Just hit four. Yo! <laughs> GG's on that 4K subs. That is crazy, man. Yo, SEO website can I use to find trending keywords, potentially a free one? Oh, ah, ah. Uh, what SEO website? Um, it's not really a good one. You find trending, trending things. I'll show you. I'll show you one. Here you go. Watch this. Google Trends. You know what you're doing? Google Trends, All right? Let's say you type in uh, Minecraft. Watch this. It shows you the popularity. Do you see this? See why people are making a bunch of Minecraft content? Out of the last, what is this on? Past day. Let's do the past 12 months. Minecraft had its peak about a year ago. Let's see where it is now. Let's do the past five years. 
you can see it's still sitting at about 50% popularity compared to where it was at the top of COVID. But then you can come down here to related queries. You go past 90 days. Go down here, you can look at top like breakouts and then queries. Minecraft Mace, Wolf Variants, Optifine, and then you can look at this stuff. Villager, how to make Minecraft an infant craft. Click this. It's got some stuff, right? Maybe that's not what you need to do. Infinity Craft. It's kind of falling off. But then you can find some of the stuff that's actually working, right? Infinite Craft. It's not working anymore, you know? These are good ways to find some some stuff. This is called this is just Google Trends, guys. And then you can click compare. Like I can type in Call of Duty, right? Let's type in Call of Duty. I'm gonna remove this one, and we can type in Minecraft. Now watch this. It's it's projected that Call of Duty is about to have a spike over the next day or so, right? Minecraft over the last 90 days, uh, or Minecraft is about to have a spike. But you can see how much more people are looking up Minecraft compared to Call of Duty. And you can come down to stuff down here. Prophecy, what's up? Welcome. Man, you mean this was under my nose all the time? <laughs> yeah, man. Google Trends is free. It's great. Um, you can even click trending now. You can see daily search trends. This is everything that's searched on Google. Right? You can flip it by US, all that stuff, real-time search trends. You can see in the past 24 hours, obviously Phoenix and Suns because of the game. You know, a lot of stuff here that's happening. This is if you're if you're a news channel, this is a good place to come and find something to cover because you can get on search really quick with stuff like this. Really, really quick. So Google Trends. It's free. Yeah, Stefan Diggs. Yeah, so I mean, you can see it, 500,000 searches, right? You click it, you can tell why. Real-time searches. He's probably going to be on here somewhere, right? Load more, and you can see their their uh, their graphs, right? And how it works. This is a great place to get some information. And you can explore topics. Like you can say gaming, right? Interest over time. Cool. Go down here, you can say past 12 months, let's change it to the past seven days for gaming. It's on an uptick, but searching, look at this. Video game is the topic, Prime Game, April 2024, right? It's about to surge, Amazon Prime Gaming. You can see it's about to actually fall because they just did the Prime Gaming thing. All good stuff. All good stuff, but you gotta be, you gotta be quick on it. Prophecy, I'm doing great, how about you, man? Hardwire, let's take a look at it. Latest short, 7.7K views. God bless. Let's take a look at it. You know Red Dragon? Well, this is their best gaming mouse. This is the M916 King 4K Pro. It comes with quite a few accessories. I'm still not sure what this one is though, so let me know down in the comments if you guys know. Something you guys might have noticed is there's no RGB. And honestly, good riddance. Sometimes gaming mice can just really overdo it with that stuff. Besides that, the mouse feels really good in the hand, and it's got enough. Oh! You, oh, what's the little screen next to the GG sign? It is the Divoom Pixio 64. And uh, you can put kind of whatever kind of gifts and stuff you want on it. I just have a bunch people, of to be honest. And like Ball I said, out of all the mice I've got, this one is pretty top tier in terms of comfort. The sound effects that people might not have paid attention to, the, the when he moved the mouse, the like fairy wand sound. But if you're in the market for something like this, then no Red Dragon will... Good loop. This is their best gaming mouse. This is the M916 King 4K Pro. It comes with quite a few accessories. I'm still not sure what this one is though, so let me know down in the comments. I love you No know Red Dragon. Well, this is their best gaming mouse. This is the M916 King 4K Pro. It comes with quite a few accessories. I'm still not sure what this one is though, so let me know know down in the comments if you guys know something you guys might have noticed is there's no rgb and honestly good riddance sometimes gaming mice can just really overdo it with that stuff besides that the mouse feels really good in the hand did you hear the fairy sound Lee. oh melted you ever google google sigma yeah i've heard of google sigma and it's got enough buttons for google sigma yeah i've heard of it yeah this is where i heard it was actually pirate software mentioned it most people to be honest and like i said out of all the mice i've got this one is pretty top tier in terms of comfort but if you're in the market for something 
Really I nice. love this keyboard. It's just clean. The sound effects on this but is so I good hardwired. This is the new LTC NB831, and honestly, it kind of sits right in the middle of the road for me. On the one hand, it feels surprisingly well built. It's got three modes for connection, and let's just say the color scheme is pretty patriotic. Honestly, the board looks clean, and the addition of a volume knob is definitely a welcome one. There really aren't too many downsides. I mean, the board doesn't sound great thanks to those red switches, and it's just a bit pricey at 80 bucks. And if you're wondering, yes, it came with the extra switches, the cable, and the instruction manual. The keycaps were pretty thick as well, and like- I feel like a horrible content creator after I watch Hardwire's videos. I'm being honest. I feel like I just suck. I just, every time I watch this stuff, I just feel like I suck. I said the build quality was top notch. For the, honestly, the best way I can describe this board is, I loved this keyboard until I started typing. This is the new LTC NB831, and honestly, it kind of sits right in the middle of the road for me. On the one hand, it feels surprisingly well built. It's got three modes for connection. Yeah, what's the, what's the program or the service that you use for sound effects? I'm pretty sure it's Artlist. And let's just say the color scheme is pretty patriotic. Honestly, the board looks clean, and the addition of a volume knob is definitely a welcome one. There really aren't too many downsides. I mean, the board doesn't sound great thanks to those red switches. And I think, okay, this is this is me. This is something I think I would probably ask you to do, right? You know when you just did the, the keyboard touches where you were on the keyboard, right? You were probably clicking the keyboard just a little bit longer than what you just did. I might have would have let, like, think of it like a J-cut, but for audio. Maybe let it just sit over the cut just a little bit longer. I've started using Artlist today. Nice. I'm I'm too good at this. <laughs> um, I think I think it's it. I think you let it fade over the over the the piece this, a little bit. I Let's love this. I'll tell you what I'm talking about. I'll tell you when to listen and when when what I'm talking about. Keyboard until I started typing. This is the new LTC NB831, and honestly, it kind of sits right in the middle of the road for me. On the one hand, it feels not this feels surprisingly well built. It's got three modes for connection, and let's just say the color scheme is pretty patriotic. Honestly, the board looks clean, and the addition of a volume knob is definitely a welcome one. There really aren't too many downsides. I mean, right here. So when you have the clicking right here, you're obviously touching on the keys. I would have let this fade into the next scene. The board doesn't sound great thanks to those red switches, and it's just a bit... Just because you talked about the red switches again, and you showed the red switch, just so that you have some kind of... It's almost like a built-in effect that you're already adding that would have been nice to have. Pricey at 80 bucks. And if you're wondering, yes, it came with the extra switches, the cable, and the instruction manual. The keycaps... Ugh, oh, it's just so good. They're pretty thick as well, and like I said, the build quality... Yeah, like you let the sound of the keycap bouncing on the desk fall into the next part of the, the edit. It's top notch for the price. Honestly, the best way I can describe this board is I loved this keyboard. And it's just clean every time. Your microphone sounds good. The sound effects are nice. It's not overpowering. The music is at a really good level. Um, yeah. Until I started typing. This is the new LTC. Sometimes this things is, are a little out of key focus. Board until I like this started type. Obviously, well out of focus. I'm curious if you actually made that on purpose. It doesn't look auto generated. It just looks like it's out of focus and not sure what to focus on. Maybe you need to be doing a lot this more manual focusing. This is the LTC NB831, and honestly, because you're doing focus, it kind of sits right, right in the middle of the road for me. On the one hand, it feels surprisingly well built. It's got three modes for connection, and let's just say the color scheme is pretty patriotic. Honestly, the board looks clean, and the addition of a volume knob is definitely a welcome. The extra moment. This is got. Sure I love this keyboard with. until I. Start. I'm not sure what you're shooting with. Sorry for my grammar. Um, I put a blur effect on some shots to focus on the subtitles. Yeah, I got that. Um, what service did you say? Art art list. Just like a list of something. Art list. Art list. Started typing. This is the new LTC NB831, and honestly, it kind of sits right in the middle of the road for me. On the one hand, it feels surprisingly well built. It's got three modes for connection, and let's just say the color scheme is pretty patriotic. Honestly, the board looks clean. And yeah, so right here, I'm not sure if you sh if you shoot on a... I'm not, I put a blur effect. I'm not sure if you shoot on a camera or not. I'm pretty sure you do because of the pulls. But if you do, a really good thing, this is just me being a little extra picky, is is lining up your shutter speed so that the RGB isn't going to flicker, so that you can fully show the RGB rotating. You might have to increase some other settings or things like that um, or decrease the aperture just to make it not have as much of a blurry background, but you'll be able to bump the shutter speed so that it actually... Um, is it flickering? The 
that's the flicker, right? And that's just where lights are not playing well with the shutter speed. Of a volume knob is definitely a welcome one. There really aren't too many downsides. Yeah, that's probably the one thing I could be able to say with that. iPhone 13 right now, I'd love to be able to get a camera. Yeah, 13 Pro will allow you to do manual uh, shutter speed and stuff. You get there's a there's a few different apps that are upgraded. Um, uh, like it's an upgraded version of being able to adjust all of those settings. Uh, you can use that to adjust your ISO or your shutter speed and stuff. Your shutter speed probably is fluctuating, which is making all of that stuff move around. And if you're doing lockdown shots like that, lock it down and make sure you get the solid shot. This has got to be the nicest VR accessory I've ever used. iPhone SE doesn't have this a fast camera. Overall, happy with the performance of my fast two shorts, though. They look like they're performing really well. Maybe I would encourage people to comment more on your videos. I love this keyboard. You know Red Dragon? 274 likes, but only 14 comments. Not, I'm saying only, but I'm saying that... I loved this keyboard. And 321 likes. Yeah, I think I think that would I would definitely say find ways to incorporate more comments down below. Like what are in this one? What are your favorite switches? This one includes red switches, which I love. But what are your favorite switches? Right, that was a good way to be able to do that. This has got to be the nicest VR accessory I've ever used. This is the Quest 2 charging dock by Kiwi, and man, is it nice. As is the unboxing experience, you can just tell they put a lot of time and effort into this. You've also got this it's little good, accessory kit that's got everything standard. you need to get this thing set up. And underneath that is the actual dock. And of course, the coolest thing about it is it's RGB. And for the controllers, just put in the rechargeable battery and then slide on the special cover. In order to even use this dock, though, you're going to need the SCP battery head strap for Quest 2. It's got this little connector that connects with the connector on the dock. That's a lot of connection. Then put the controllers here. That's pretty cool. The quest there, and voila, you're charging. Now tell me down in the comments, do you guys think this is overkill? But even if it is, this has got to be the night. Really good loops. Really good loops. So definitely should encourage more comments. Yeah, that's. I think that's your next big step is how do you get them to comment down below? And I would try to weave it in in the middle of the video, not at the end. Not like, let me know down below. Like, weave it in towards the middle. Um... I think that's really important. If you're still rocking the Quest 2, here's a couple accessories that could really level up you. And we've taken a look at this one. Really nice sound effect on this crank too. Yeah, so I think you need to be focusing more on, yeah, I'm doing really good with my content now. You've obviously mastered editing. And I would say master is you're at a good point with it. But how do you how do you go to the next level? How do you, because your content's kind of carrying you right now. How do you get them to now engage in your comment? They're liking it, but how do you get them to engage further with your content. And that's going to be being very specific on um, getting them to comment, getting them down there, saying something that's not controversial, but uh, saying something that's going to encourage them to comment on the bottom. You know, you know, are you, are you still rocking a quest Two? you know, type one and, you know, type one in the comments. If you're still rocking a quest Two, something like that. Also talking about audience face reveal at 4k that's coming sometime this week. I love that. Love that. Hardwired as always. Congratulations on your on your content and the growth that you're having. I think that's fantastic. I really do. I think that's fantastic. Cake Ninja. I see here we go. We got Haunted MZRE. We've got Mia and Cake Ninja. Are any of those three people still here? We might do one of two of those and we might call it because it is almost four hours into stream tonight, guys. Hey yo! Cake. All right. Mia, and then Cake. Haunted. Haunted's here, too. Haunted. Let's just go ahead and do the three really quick. Haunted's technically the next, per next person in line. Just a casual Apex player. 12 subs, 9 bids, 5k views. Um, nice. How, how recent is your channel? Two years old. You got a Twitter on there. What are we taking a look at? Shorts? What are we taking a look at? Should be mine. It's really easy. Small, too. Cool. Ladies first. Haunted, we're gonna do Haunted's first. Do you know where I'm gonna go live again? You know when you're gonna go live again? I will be live, I want to say Friday. I want to say Friday. I'm just not gonna say I am gonna be for live Friday. I wanna say Friday though. I might do a midday stream if I'm being honest. But I wanna be like, my goal was to go live Friday. I've just not been very consistent the last couple weeks. And I would hate to tell you I'm going to be live Friday and then I miss it. I just think that's bad. Channel is old, but starting posting four weeks ago. Cool. Uh, well, let's take a look at your latest one. Oh. 
I love Pokemon. I love Pokemon. <laughs> I'm new to this. Any tips will help. Number one, I wouldn't use uh, copyrighted music, so don't use that. A wild lifeline appears. I think if you're going to do this, I would have had the... Trying to understand, I don't understand the. Let's go to another video. That's copyrighted, guys. I can't play it. You have to listen to my music. It lined up really well, but I think you needed to trim down the front of that really quickly. Like I felt like it was a little too long. His hit, you're not. You can't listen to his music because it's copyrighted. But the, the shot lined up really well with the audio. I feel like you could have done the one shot. And then sped up to where you get the other shot. So what I'm saying is right here, you have the da 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 and pop. And then the beats. One, two, three, four, boom. That should have been the lineup for the next one. And it should have been like lined up perfectly. So slow down or speed up the clip so that it lined up absolutely perfect. Yeah, music timing, huge music timing. If you're gonna do any of this type of content, music timing. And again, guys, sorry, you're, I know you're listening to my content that has absolutely nothing. Um, just know that. Yeah, the Pokemon will get DMCA'd, but it'll be all right. Yeah, and you're lining it up really well. This clip's a little too long. Yeah, just putting a really cool clip with some other song is not going to get the intended reaction, right? If you're going to do something like that, incorporate some memes or make sure the music is actually relevant to what's happening on the screen. But the big thing is if you're going to do a, a really cool clip, which is what you've got right here, Maybe don't even put the music in. Just try posting it without putting music on it and see what happens. Maybe post twice. Do one with the music, one without the music and see how each one of them performs. Don't worry about if it's, you know, I'm double posting, who cares? I get short form content. Post it and see what happens. And and just just see how it comes across. I think that's a good good thing. Good night, Prophecy. Have a good night. I've just finished up something, so if it make it back before the end of the stream, have a good night, everyone. Ugh, hard, hardwired. Not, I'm not doing uh because of you, hardwired. I was doing uh because something else. Hardwired, great job tonight. Have a great night. Really, thank you for all your help. Yeah, I would try it without and just see how it see how it performs. Let me go to the next one. Yeah, like that one didn't even line up to the, the music at all. You could have done like dodge this and then zoomed in really close to really have it pop. I think that would have been important. So, yeah. Music time in Haunted. Music timing. I think if you're doing shorts, either do music or don't do it and just show the really cool clip. Totally. Totally. Ski Mask, have a good night. All right, so let's take a look. Let's go to the next one. Hey, great job, Haunted. Congratulations for coming back. I think that's so awesome. I can hit the stick to button. I hit my voice changer for some reason. I thought I was hitting this. But I hit my voice changer, and I didn't think I was going to. And it was going to be this one. <laughs> oh, I'm such an idiot. All right, Mia. Mia. Oh, it's going to pull up a whole bunch of other channels trying to find your channel. Mia. Oh, man. How am I going to find... Mia, what's your at? Because I can't click your channel. I'm not going to be able to click your channel. Is 
So I keep scrolling until I see your picture, but. At, there we go, thank you. At shot. How did I miss that? YouTube.com slash at shot. Did I misspell it? I got doxxed. Hello, Finster. YouTube.com slash. That didn't pull up. You should note it down. I should totally do it. What is what? What is it? Oh, wait, hold on. Check spelling. I did. I actually copy and pasted. Y'all going to jail. Oh my god, what am I looking at? I think it's already changed. At me, <laughs> the stupid. There we go. Are we taking a look at Mia? I'm intermission. <laughs> the tracking is so good. I even like scrolled down to see what comment said. Oh, sorry guys. My bad. Thank you so much. I muted it because of the last channel. I'll put it back up. Might be, might be, might be. Thank you for calling it out. I'm very tired. But, hey, it's been just a little bit. Uh, Nikki, to make it look great. You know, and I can only imagine the setup. Oh, man. I'm not even... There's a reason why I never went into VTubing. And it's because it really... Like, people might think, like, oh, my God, you can go into VTubing, you get to hide your face, and you get full custom cell, blah, blah, blah. There is so much. Like, you start off PNG tubing, and then it's, like, full on, like, like, there's, you can go so deep with it very quickly. I can't even imagine when you, when you start wanting to upgrade, it's like, you know, I, I put RGBs and stuff in the background and get a nice microphone and a little better camera. Like, we're talking about it's full production quality tracking to really get it smooth. Like, the first part of this was really nice. Like, you could tell the eyes weren't tracking very well, and you had some things that were clipping, but it was doing really good at the front. Look, apart from the avatar, I did get Vive trackers. Like, obviously, you're getting some clipping of your, like, the clothing into your actual right. skin. You but, probably didn't see me move a whole lot in wow. the previous video. Well, that's I mean, it, 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 the progress, I, I, haven't, I didn't see every bit of the progress, but I would assume just to get to this point and have it rigged the correct tiring. way. But, hey, it's been just a little bit. Uh, just popping in while I'm working. Yeah, like you can see how it's clipping in. The next video to uh, make a little update. So, but you can tell like the, like when you, when you pop to a hip or something, it's tracking you really well. And yeah, I do. Their vibe is so chill. Noticing anything different? Nothing? I love it. Nothing at all? Okay. Well, uh, look, apart from the avatar, I did get vibe trackers. Okay. I think it's really nice. I think you could compress your voice a little bit better so that when you speak softer, it comes through a little bit more. I think that that might be a good upgrade for you. Um, I think that would be... I was actually going to ask you what your pronouns were. I didn't even go to your channel. Um, I didn't see this before. So I think that that's a, probably a big thing for you. I mean, look at the walk-on. You can tell the clothing has some problems tracking. Yeah, so really good I'm, job. Congratulations. I mean, that's a lot of setup to get Vive tracking working. I can't even imagine. Congratulations. I'm really interested in seeing how it's going to all come together in the end. Really awesome job. Cake Ninja, you're up. Clothes and veil are just a pain. I can only imagine. But, you know, it's you obviously you're wearing, like, oversized clothes in comparison to the, you know, the smaller model. I mean, you can only imagine how you're trying to get it to actually connect and, 
and mesh together and see the bo- the model as a boundary so that the mo- like the actual clothes rest rather than clip, right? Oh, man. It's too much for my mind. Hey there, I started a gaming YouTube channel, 5.3K views. Man, this is crazy. The growth, I think you were the one who said earlier, weight painting, exactly. Yes, I'm not, nope, it's a well above my pay grade. That's why you like you have people helping you out. Nope, I'd be paying people. I'd be paying people. All right, we'll be taking a look at cake. What do you want me to, specifically, which one do you want me to take a look at? What's your What's your thoughts here? What's your thoughts here? This will be the last one for tonight, guys. We're at uh, four hours and eight minutes live. Last video? Cool. Alrighty, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today I got for you a very fast video on the best way to level for Phase 3, level 40 to 50 in SOD. So without oh, further ado, yeah. let's get totally, straight into yeah. it. So now, since we have a few days left here, before we get into the new phase, we actually have a few options here. So now I spent about 40, 50 hours making this grid right here. Holy! And I will leave it in the description below as well. It'll be free You're such a good man. Open. 40 to 50 hours and you're handing it out. You're a like good man. That. It gives you the best 20 quests to have prepped and ready to go for your leveling experience. And as well as the exact route to take. Now, if you follow this route exactly, it should take you about two to three hours to complete all of this. And you will be level 44-ish when you are done. I put the XP values right here. In and the total cumulative value God. here, which will get you to the amount of in depth I can only imagine. Holy. Pretty much right off the bat. Now, just to further clarify what exactly of the colors, what a little rain man on this. <laughs> because we're looking at it for the first time. Yeah, here. static. Uh, it, it'll probably be Friday when we go live. So that any I'm not, quests I just can't say that you need yes. to do before getting a quest in your quest log, because you're going to basically I just have don't your quest log full. Over commit right and there. fail you guys and not the be able yellow to quests here you. are pretty. But I have a baby. Uh, not a baby, but I have a you know five year old. Simplistic. They are and some, just the some ones nights that are just more difficult than other nights getting him down. Slog ready to turn in before phase three launches. And then you have the optionals, which are in like this lightly orange one. These are going to be if you can't do one of the other ones because some of the yellows are quite hard to do, and if you can't find a group for. If I was doing this, I probably would have put a box around the optional here. I can highlighted it, done a little red blinky box around the stuff that's optional. Because this white text with the shadow, I would have made the shadow a little bit more pronounced just so that this could be easier read because I'm looking at it on multiple screens. I have it on OBS over here, main screen, and then I have it up on the prompter over here um, with you guys. And I can read it clear over there. I can read it clear here, but in OBS, I can barely read it. And maybe, maybe I would have done a little red box that would just like flash that's around his. You're already doing a green or a red arrow, right? I feel like that could have drawn more attention, a little bit more. I think white's fine. I just think you need more drop shadow that's going to separate it. Or even a like a very opaque box. Or it might be a little bit prohibitive to be able to do them. Red Next circle, year, something surrounding it. Yeah. Have to go. So have, that prophecy, have a good night. Thank you so much for stopping are by. going to be follow you. two other quests. So, for example, you get the Grime Encrusted Ring, which is a drop from Nomergon. You can actually do two quests to follow up, and it gives you more experience that way as well. And the greens are quest items that you have in your back. For example, you get the Grime Encrusted Ring, are quite hard to do, and if you can't find a group for it, it might be a little bit prohibitive to be able to do them. Next here, we actually got the follow-ups, so that is the blue quests are going to be follow-ups to other quests. So, for example, you get the Grime Encrusted Ring, which is a drop from Nomergon. You can actually do two quests to follow up, and it gives you more experience that way as well. I don't know why you went back to this and said blue one more time. I feel like this was unnecessary. That's why it threw me off for a second. And the greens are quest items that you have in your bag that you do not have in your log. Pretty self-explanatory. And the purple are actually quests that you're going to be doing while leveling. So you're going to be picking them up after. I think each one of these you put a little red box around. I think that's really good. God, the, the amount of data that you've collected is nuts. The reset. Because, for example, you're going to grab insert. Oh, I can't even imagine. 
the temple when you're already turning in other quests in Stormwind anyway, so you might as well grab that. Now, while this list may be tweaked a little bit or there's one or two things missing from here or there, it is 99% there and done, all right? You can figure out how to optimize it a little bit better, but you're probably not gonna get too much out of it if you just follow this. You are gonna basically get there. Now, the pre-questing time took me about nine hours because I was figuring it out and the placement and the route as I was doing it. However, if you just do it from top to bottom, it'll probably take you about six hours. So you still can do about three hours tonight, tomorrow, and before the day launch on the 4th of April. So you have that as well. And in terms of the best route to take to be as efficient as possible, you're going to set your hearthstone to Tanneris first of all, then you are. It's so clean. I that's the only so far. That's the only notes I have for this. I mean, audio, visual, everything's fine. Um, show not tell when you're talking about all this where you just have gameplay on the screen popping something up would have been nice where it's just you Bottom, it'll kind of managing about six hours so you still can everything about there so that way it takes you about five six minutes to do instead of the three hours to do because of all man the this is time, your content is improving so which is quickly really, really nice experience you misspelled by the way experience it's experience is it too late am i is my brain hurting how do you spell experience yeah, E and C E. Next, you're gonna fly over to, say, don't trust to me. the Badlands, and you're gonna turn in all the quests there. There is not a single quest here besides one, possibly, which is gonna be in your quest log. All of them are gonna be in your bag. Next, you are gonna go to the hinterland, so get summoned there or fly. Same thing. I think the red arrow is really nice, but I think I think it would be good if you start learning that. That pulsing red, like, even even if you pulsed the red arrow, and all you have to do is keyframe the opacity, like, put it at 100, go forward like 10 frames, put it at zero, put it at like 10, go forward 10 frames, put it at 100, go forward 10 frames, 10, go forward like 10 frames, go put it at 100. So it pulses three times, whoop, 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 and it doesn't turn off, it just pulses down to 10, right? Even if you did the red arrow, just something that drew their attention to what you're trying to say, I think is a good thing. Turning all the quests there, that's another... And that's just, that's just keyframes. And you could probably make some kind of a some kind of a preset a uh, so that would just you can supply you're going to take time. your hearthstone to tanneris and you're going to turn in all the quests and you're going to pick up all these you're going to apply the preset and then just move it to where you need it quests that's going to be about sixty-seven thousand experience then you're going to run zulfarak until you're level 45 then Get a port or a summon to Iron Forge and fly to Netherguard Keep, or just get a summon directly to. You could have done like step one, step two, step three, step four. Netherguard Keep. Be a little bit slower. Depending. I don't. There's not much that I can say in the fact that you put this much time into something huge. Oh my God! You have no idea. It's probably like the. How many? How many views? Obviously, look at this. Seven point two k views. Obviously, this is a huge. I appreciate the effort. Sweet work. I mean, look at this. Nice content. I mean, just imagine how much value you added. Semi-clickbait would have been nice to know. You're only helping Alliance. Edit, I rescind my previous statement, and I take back my dislike. For my friend, there's a horde prequesting list. Yo, look at them. Look at you, like, pooping on them. Yo, see, look at this. That's this is where you win. This is where you win over like real people, when you actually get in the comments and you you help them. I had a guy like this today who was like, "I, duh, you, you didn't do this, blah 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 blah." And I sat there and ha we went back and forth like four or five comments. And then at the very end, he was like, "Oh, I didn't realize that. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you. Thank you very much." Like, see, this is this is this is why comments are so important, right? Because somebody's going to come on here and read this semi-clickbait thing, and they're going to get all upset, but then they're going to get the edit and realize that you did such good stuff. So good. That's why comments are so important, because it's that next level of you being like huge for them. I comp. love that so now, much. Now, if you are a regular person and you're not really interested in spending six, seven hours in pre-questing before the launch even begins, or if you saw this video too late and weren't able to do any pre-questing and you are now into the new phase looking for the best way to level, uh, we got a few other alternatives here for you. So first of all here, we have- Oh yeah, for you casual players, here's another option for you. I've already put them on like how difficult compared to how- 
There's another grid here, and it goes over. You have no idea how much you. Oh, well, you probably have to know how many, how much value you've for added all of to your the dungeon community. experience values per. I hope you posted this on Reddit. Hour. I the hope you posted green this is on Reddit. Be the most optimal or the most experience per hour. The orange is going to be pretty good. You can get a little bit better uh, value out of that. And the red is not really worth it, and you shouldn't really do those at that level. So what you're going to be doing is basically level 42, level 42, you're going to be running uh, Scarlet Monastery. Post some videos on Reddit. You're going to get the most amount of experience there. Then, Should I post my videos on Reddit? I don't even know where to post them. But should I go back and post all my videos on Reddit? I've never done... I'll be honest, I've never posted my videos on Reddit. You're going to do Old Demand once and just make sure that you collect all the quests up for that. If you don't want to do Old Demand, that's fine. You can just skip straight over to Zulfarak. That's obviously great. You might have a little bit of problems hitting the mobs at this level, so maybe try to get to level 43. So try to maybe do an older man and then head over to Zulfrak at level 43. You can pretty much grind that easily until level 48. Now, if you don't really want to do Zulfrak over and over, you can swap and go over to Maradon at level 46. This is crazy. Cake, this is a solid, solid piece of content. I don't know if there's anything more I can say I mean, the small little things, those are just editor's notes that just are going to make it a little bit, you know, nicer to view. But the amount of investment in this for you to provide quality stuff back to the community, you're going to win so much favor in the WoW community just from this. I mean, crazy. Imagine, imagine if you continue to do content like this, then you become the authority. I mean brother you're doing so good and i know you're doing dragon's dogma stuff and it's obviously performing but look how to prepare for sod fastest leveling guide for sod look you've got stuff that's popped off brother and on this i would 100 percent. i know you're posting other content 18k views 4k views right i would make sure that you would 100 percent continue to post stuff on this ride this high i mean 191 views per hour just on this video you should 100 percent be continuing to drive on this good for you i mean look at this 372 thousand views right you've got one video that's that's get made up you know two percent of your views all of all time in the last day I gotta stay on top of wow, wow, that's best content so far. It's not bad to to create other types of content. Obviously, people are liking like look, 2.6k, 2.6k, some hell divers two stuff did okay. Look, hell divers two, you've obviously are able to make other types of content. But I mean, look, phase two, 28k, 2015k, you've got a lot of drive here on some content, and it's obviously working. Cake, you've got a channel that's gonna go very far, man. I'm really proud of you. This is this is really awesome content. And, you know, the people in the community obviously are probably finding a bunch of value in your stuff. So I can only imagine where you're going to be in the next four, five, six months. Right. Congratulations. All right. We're going to call it. Guys, thank you so much for all the support. $225 raised for charity in one night, guys. Absolutely crazy. It's partially thanks to you. Nah, man, I don't take any. Don't give me any credit. You're the one who put in the work, man. You're the one who put in the work. Congratulations on all your success. Guys, thank you so much for everything that you're doing in this channel. As always, go ahead and make sure you support all the creators who have checked out all of these channels. Give them any kind of love and support that you want to be able to provide them. Everyone who has been here this entire time, thank you so much, not only for supporting me, but for supporting the fellow creators. If you want to be a part of something bigger than just us, consider doing something for St. Jude. Maybe it's, and even if it's not wanting to donate, which is, you know, you might not have that. Why not? if you're a live streamer and you're a person who makes content and goes live, why not join my Discord and let's go ahead and get you on my stream team, The Darkness, get you connected so that you can start your own campaign and raise money alongside me for the next month or two months. And you can continue to promote. You get to go ahead and get some, some donations that come in for St. Jude, grow your charity profile while also fighting for a larger cause of growing uh, the opportunity for St. Jude to continue to do their research. Thanks, guys. Hope you all have a great night. Love you all. Enjoy. Bye-bye. Ah!